Yay! Welcome to Zero Page <laughs> Homebrew, cool. your best source for the newest Atari games yes. and the cutest Atari. Yes. Hello, Hi, Atari. Atari. Yeah, we've been away for a while. We were on vacation. Yes. But we're back and we'll tell you about our vacation as yes. we go through the show. Yes. Um, tonight, we're going to be playing Atari 2600 games. More specifically, we're going to be playing two games from Andrew Davey. Ooh. We have an exclusive game from him. It is Boulder Dash 2. two. This is Boulder Dash, Ooh. the original Number one. one. The yes. reissue of it. Nice. I was not around in the homebrew scene for the original, original. release, nice. which is now astronomically expensive. <laughs> um, but there is the re-release, which came out a couple years ago. Mm. But we're going to be playing Boulder Dash 2, the enhanced, upgraded, amazing new Super edition. Super special, oh, extra, my God. fancy edition. Oh, it's so fancy. <laughs> it's super fancy. Yes. You will not believe what kind of bits Andrew is pushing through nice. that 2600. Oh, really? It is mm. unbelievable. Cramming them in it. Oh, cramming them through. fast as possible. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we're also going to be playing his Minesweeper game. Ooh. You know the like Windows game, Minesweeper? Yeah. I played it a lot. Now it's on the 2600. On my Windows 98 system? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, a lot probably, of Minesweeper. Probably it's one of the most Windows played. 98? Probably yeah. not 95 as well. Maybe I, not. Maybe, I'm trying to remember. 95 or 98. Oh my goodness. Five gift subs. Oh, wow. Anonymously given. Nice. To ITC, HOG2309, Vitoko, Misnomer, Dave M, AZ. Thank you, wow. anonymous gifter. Thank you very much. Yes. And that's going to go for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, everybody's thanking him. Yeah. It can do infinite loops in five seconds. Nice. Yes. Um, what else? Uh, before we get to the games, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Yes, we do. Hey, Andrew Davey. Hey, Andrew. He's awake. Yeah, he's Made it. He's he was, awake. <laughs> well, he was up very late. Yeah. Finishing this off for the nice. show. Thank you so much, nice. Andrew. Adding things in, mm -hmm. fixing things up just in time. Um, 4.30 a.m. There you go. His Oof. time. His yeah, time. that's early. Um, that's early. I'm not sure what time. I think it's 11 a.m. his time now. So he got some sleep in there. Oh, my goodness. Some disrupted sleep. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, we'll so thank you for getting up and staying up so late. 11 now. I got yeah, it right. Okay. There you go. Uh, thank <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. You're Three hours of sleep. Six people to add to the list if they uh, weren't already yes, on. Yes, I will so there you go. <laughs> uh, add them. And Miss Command. Oh my Yay, goodness. Yay, okay. Miss Command. Let's read out the Twitch subscribers that were before the show. Yes. 8 bit Poet, Andre, Atari, Armscar, Coder, Atari, 1974, Atari, HB, Power, Pocock, Bruno Steck, Captain Clask, Charles Donnie Mal, Charles Whelan, Chitlala, Duck Mook, Has Great Defender, Johnny WC23, Kabuto Coder, Carl G, Kara Cat, Rock 2600, Developed Fur, Watch That Cat, mm. Lambda Express, Mandy Sipping, T Mark, Anna's MySpace, Ink, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Thomas, Fix, Neo Mini, Nostalgic, Pseudographics, Quag, Rendered Ghost, Rem Repentless, VG, Revan Tooley, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Spinley, Rest Ramirez, Tiki Down, K Track, MD, Oh, <laughs> Squeakies. Oh, squeakers. Uh, Tweeny, a Vexrax, and X can X. If you would like to support the show like these people did, just hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you could just um, subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. um, give a thumbs up. Whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. As long as you like the show. Watch that cat. Yes. <laughs> watch, <laughs> watch that, that cat. cat. <laughs> you gotta watch that cat. He, oh, you do. He, he hasn't had treats in a while, so he is very hungry very for excited. treats. Very excited. Very excited. Oh, for it's treats. been about 20, 20 days. Oh. oh, we did give him some treats when we got home. Of course. But as far um, as within the, the, the context of the show, he has it's not been had treats. Yeah. So there you go. Um, let's see. <laughs> and Morning. thank you. Morning. Huh? Morning. Oh, what's loose. that? The treat ball is loose. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> He's alerted. He's excited. He's, He's like, oh, I think I know what that means. The treat ball is loose. The treat ball. This is probably his favorite, actually. Uh, he loves it. He yeah. does like the treat ball. Uh, he can he can make up for the lack of goals that the Canucks uh, scored oh. <laughs> and uh, bat around the ball. There in you here. go. Show them how it's supposed to be done. We were on vacation. Uh, we will talk about that yes. great vacation. Oh, that's a lot. 
Not too much. <gasps> not too much. So you might get treats later, so you don't want to yeah. make them too roly poly yeah, ch chunky. Before, yeah. Oh. You won't be able to get up again. No, no. We want to oh, make sure he's Oh, look at that healthy. face. Oh, is he this is what so you want? He's in the box. Oh, let's switch he's over. He's adjusted. He's in his in position. Please put the ball down. Okay, let me, let yeah. me center this a little bit here. There we go. Are you ready? Are ready? You ready? Is it open? Yep. Okay. Make it not too easy for him. Oh, a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Free ball time. <laughs> Woo! Atari says, I don't know what that means. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, maybe. It took him a second, and then he started crying. He was like, oh, yes, I know what this oh, is. Oh, that. Yes. Mm, yes. Treats. Um... <clears throat> I want to thank everybody for all the beautiful, wonderful messages mm -hmm. that you left on the social media and everywhere um, about Sprite mm -hmm. passing away. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it happened while we're away on vacation. And it was quite a shock to us. So, yeah. Yeah, it was at the end of our vacation um, that we learned about it. Um, somebody was looking after Sprite and um, he... he passed away. Yeah. Um, uh, not from natural causes. No. Um, so we um, obviously miss Sprite a lot. Mm. Atari misses Sprite a lot. Mm -hmm. We're recovering. It's been a week and a bit. Yeah. It, um, it, it takes very... a little bit of time. Yep. Yeah. Um, Atari cries for him. Yeah. Misses him a lot. Yeah. Um, he's 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 getting better. Like we're getting better, but yeah. um, Sprite will always be with us. Yes. Um, and we're so happy to have shared him with you yes. for the past two years. He had a good life. He had a very good life. And he was a good cat. He was a beautiful, fluffy little cat. Yeah. And uh, he was so gentle. He, yes. he didn't have a mean bone in his body. No. He never hissed at us or scratched us or got mad at us. Mm -hmm. And he loved his brother and Atari loved him too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's very sad. But, yeah. Um, yeah. It happens. It does. Unfortunately. It's unfortunate. Some, sometimes yeah. things happen that are didn't. beyond your control, right? So, it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, Even rang the bell he got, gently. He did. He, did. he Very was soft pod. Yeah. Soft. Thank you, Chelsea Donnie Mount. Yeah. Can you put a screenshot of combat with some walls in the box? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That would be a good addition. Yeah. Hmm. I could print out like the default combat screen. Oh yeah. It's kind of four by three, the box. Nice. Um that would be that would be pretty cute. I don't know if it would kind of get wrecked as he stepped on it because it would just be able to use paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh we got some mail here. Let's see what it is. I think I know what it is. This came while I was away. Tank pong. Tank pong. <laughs> That's right. I know what this is. Exciting, exciting. It's not super exciting, but it's pretty exciting. Okay, yeah, it is what I thought it was. Okay, let's switch back. You can be in the little box there. Mm -hmm. um, it's bubble wrap. That's what I want. We always need more bubble wrap. Um, so these are um, Atari 7800 power supplies. Mm. Oh, let's see if I can get the shine off of it. Um, now I saw these pop up. And I thought, oh, well, I better take advantage of these um, because they are, they have a very unique end to them hmm. that are not hard, that are hard to find unless you like 3D print them or something. Um, and I know ITC has tested these and they're well within spec. Um, I don't know if anybody's done like waveform. Uh, analysis on them and how steady the power is on it, but IGC says they're good. So All right, that's we'll take IGC's good enough for me. A word, yeah, on that yep, one. Yep, very nice packaging. So I got mm -hmm. two of them. Good to have backup. Yep, I always try and get two of everything because you never know. I do have like one or two originals. Like I have one plugged into the uh, 7800 there, and I think I have one mate backup or two other backups, but mm. you know they're not made anymore. Um, and the same place also sold a bunch of 5200 parts. So I got a um, keypad, some 5200 side buttons, um, start, pause, reset buttons as well. 
I, ITC says, never buy one of a thing when you can buy two <laughs> at twice the price. That's right. <laughs> Do they have the Euro version? Uh, Probably have to check their website, but yeah. I, I don't, I didn't notice a Euro version plug. Um, and I also got some 2600, 7800 uh, domes. Because mm. actually, ha one of the joysticks I have, the domes are bad. This is so dark. Is it dark? No. It's fine. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's right here, actually. Um, this joystick, down is bad, and it is the button, I believe. How are you doing down there? He's he's enjoying himself. <laughs> he's still at it. There's still treats in there. And I think that's... <laughs> oh, 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 no. And some flex circuits for the 5200 controller as well. Apparently sealed. Okay, you know what they look like. Um, <laughs> they're, they're like gold and they have little little things coming out of them. So um, I do have some bad 5200 controllers. And okay. That's why I bought these. So that'll be a project yep, coming to, up. To try me. and fix them, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad to fix them. It's just getting the parts. This is taking you a little while. <laughs> is it not open? I'm going to open He's having it fun, though. He is having fun. You can let him oh, yeah. keep going. No, no, he, he's, he's happy as a clam. <laughs> That's rules for collecting toys. Buy one for collection, one for play. One, exactly. One that as is very true. <laughs> Yes. Uh, ITC says the rebuild 5200 kits are excellent um, as well, so that it was well spent. Mm. Yeah, I thought because shipping anywhere now, That's especially true. to Canada, yeah. is bad. really expensive. So <laughs> yeah. whenever I buy something, I either think, okay, do they have a lot of stuff that I want? Or maybe I'll, I'll order it later to package it all together. Yeah. The down position of my joystick is not good, too. Oh, you must have got the same run I did. Um, so this is from Atari Repair Parts. Uh, let me just show that off. Right here, Atari Repair Parts. Let me just post that in. If you want to get your own, I did talk about this about a month or so ago. Um, so Atari Parts, and there are the, the gold action buttons. You can get a joystick boot. A whole bunch of stuff. Uh, gold dome switches, all the stuff I just showed you. There you go. That's that's what I bought for the 5200. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff that goes under the buttons that I that I showed. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I was he hesitant to buy this. I'm like, oh, do I really need a Atari 5200 joystick handle removal tool? We'll see. Did you buy it? <laughs> no, I did oh. not. I was like, mm, I'm sure do you I can, need a you can special find a workaround. I don't ITC know. can attest to that. Do I do I really need that tool? Or I've got tools. I've got little pry bars for various things. Mm. Um, I've got a ton of those. I don't need that. I don't need that. All my 7800 <laughs> controllers are fine. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what was I going to show? Oh, yeah. Here it is. The 7800... Um, Oh, actually, this is World. Is this it? this power supply, mm. uh, 100 to 240. So all you need is the uh, a travel adapter. So it will your, work for anywhere in the world. Only need that if you need to replace the boots. Okay, mm. so you can take apart the joystick completely and not need that unless you need to redo mm. the boots. Does the 5200 controller kit solve the auto center problem of the joystick? Mm, not that I know of. Um, so this is what I bought. This is the end that is so elusive. <laughs> the it's, elusive it's end. Very, very hard to get. Mm -hmm. I think at one point there was some retail... At like a store that had them? Like a Radio Shack or...? <laughs> no, like it's a, it was a product that had the exact oh. same end and people were buying... The product. The and, product just for that end. Splicing and, it in or whatever. Yeah, 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 and yeah. splicing yeah. it in. I, I can't remember what it was. It was a while back. But this has uh, Atari repair parts. I'm yeah, very nice. surprised they haven't been uh, shut down by Atari. They're pretty. <laughs> they're pretty adamant these days <laughs> of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Don't it's say right, it too right in their name. Yeah. yeah. Are you all done there? Or maybe Atari needs Atari repair parts, so they're letting them. Oh for yeah, now. that's right. <laughs> it's like how are they supposed to repair? Well, they're making a uh, whole bunch of uh, new joysticks. Oh, that's true, so, but for their newer systems. No, old systems really? too. Yeah. So, oh, mm, okay. They don't, they don't need old parts. Yeah. Um, it was an electric razor shaver. It might have been, yeah. Surprised nobody has made a USB-C 7800 power mod. There has been power mods for 7800 to change it to barrel jacks. Um, but I haven't seen USB -C. a USB-C one. 
Uh, I do have a USB-C for my ColecoVision. Okay. And it's just like a small adapter too. Mm. Plugs into the original and then you don't even have to mod the system. It's it's really good. Um, there, This is a little bit older because we've been away, um, but somebody has come up with an optical mouse mm. adapter um, for the 2600. Um, and this is them playing it on with... Um, it is only um, digital, I believe. Um, so you could play any game with it. So let me see if he's got some screenshots of it. Yes, wanted to try and get an optical mouse hooked up to the Atari 2600. Figure there might be a few games that could take advantage of it, like Miss Command and Centipede, even knowing the mouse would never be analog. Um, so I believe you can just buy that. And it's a nine pin um, to a PS2 adapter. So you would need an older mouse, mm. um, but he's got it, uh, got it working. All mice are digital, digital encoder based. Yeah, mm. well, yeah. <laughs> but moving fast or slow, it, I don't think it translates the fastness and slowness to the 2600. It's either on or off, up, down, left, or right. Mm. Not slow, left, slow, Slowing. Right. Well, maybe. Yeah. If you go slow enough, it would just send right, 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 slow enough. I don't know how, I don't know how I don't it would know. work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's neat though. It is very, very that cool. That is very neat. Neat alternative to the trackball hack yeah. set can use the Amiga ST mice, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and it is uh, available for purchase right here, Retro Computer Store. Now, how about an adapter for a PS2 keyboard? Mm -hmm. It probably, uh, yeah. I don't know if that would work. I don't know what kind of signals it would send from the keyboard. But here it is, $22.26, I'm guessing American. Um, and there is the adapter. Yeah, there's the nine pins. And on the other side is the PS2 as well. PS2 to 1351. So you could do your own investigation what kind of signals it outputs for a mm. keyboard. Maybe it's a serial signals and you could use a keyboard like a um a string of ones and zeros is like an a would be one zero one one zero one zero or something just making it up mm -hmm. and the atari could go oh i know that's an a and then put an a on the screen but i'm just guessing <laughs> i theorized that a long time ago about an adapter that you could hook up a keyboard mm -hmm. to an atari 2600 so you could actually type and it just sends strings of uh, bits um, but that would be very cool for typing, uh, especially with like uh, the plus card in their chat. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, there is an Atari giveaway. It's still happening, even though this happened before we left. <laughs> um, ben from PlayOn, who made the 2600 Plus PlayOn. Um, I have a few samples of the new lines to give away. Three game pads, two paddle packs two joysticks, uh, Food Fight, and Fatal Run. Mm. Um, what you need to do is just tell him what game you'd like to see as an Atari release. And I'm guessing an in-box cartridge release mm. for the Atari 2600. Um, so I am suggesting people suggest homebrew releases. Oh, yeah. Um, either ones that maybe didn't get a cartridge release through Atari Age, or maybe ones that have no been, yeah. Well, Atari Age are pretty good at keeping stuff in store. Okay, yeah. But maybe one that doesn't have a box anymore, mm -hmm. that is only sold on cartridge. So either way, just suggest something. Oh, no, no, no. Banhammer for you. <laughs> even even if you're the pol a polite bot, you got to go. <laughs> um, the, yeah, I don't mm. think it'll be Princess Rescue or, or anything that has been removed from the store yeah. that was <laughs> in the store. Yes. Might be a di bit difficult. Yeah, that's but true. You never know. You could yeah. ask Ben to go talk to Nintendo. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, so they picked the winners on May 31st. So you still have time, 10 days to suggest 
mm. something in there. Good catch on the spammer. Yeah, he's a very polite spammer. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it always start, starts. Yeah, it made me read I'm it I'm a Nigerian bit. prince. Uh... Yes, and I just have too much money. <laughs> it's everywhere. I can't spend it fast yeah. enough. Yeah. Um, so Emmanuel Huseman uh, reached out to me the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the organizer for the recent GEM TOS 2024 in France that had a bunch of Atari stuff there. Mm. Uh, he contacted me and he's organizing an Atari meetup in 2026 mm. uh, in Sunnyvale, California. I always yeah. think Sunnydale. I always think Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, whenever I from? see Sunny... Well, whenever I see Sunnyvale, I always think of Sunnydale. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Interesting. They could be tangent... They could uh -huh. be related. I don't know. I don't know the lore of where that name came from, but sorry. Interesting. I, I digress. <laughs> Sunnyvale, Sunnydale. Yeah. Uh, it marks the 30th anniversary of the end of the last Atari console oh, to be released, okay. the Atari Jaguar. Um, so he said to me, a meeting point... Uh, he's French, so this is going to be a little... It translated? Yeah, yeah, a little translated. A meeting point at the former Atari headquarters gathering of all the Atari fans in the world. Yes, just that. Having a barbecue? A concert? I, I know he's a musician, so... Um, mm. um, or just an exchange of words. We all wear an Atari t-shirt. <laughs> uh, meet the old programmers of the yeah. time, etc. And he's already... He already organizes things, so you know he's going to ah, be able to do that. Nice. Uh, this year, That's I'm cool. going to create a website dedicated to the event. I've already discussed it at my Je Atari Gem TOS convention in France, which was a great success. I'll keep you informed on the progress of the project. So I suggested he post it in the events in on the Atari Age forums mm -hmm. and uh, get back to me when he has put up a page, and we'll talk about it again. That is very cool. Um, he hasn't cool. settled on a date. He mm -hmm. didn't. He didn't say a date. So sometime in 2026, maybe you can coincide it with PRGE or something. Well, yeah. Like after or before. No, uh, or any time really. Any time, I mean, the so nice I... thing about California is they usually don't have bad weather, so you no. can probably plan for any time of the year. Yeah. Unlike Vancouver, where it's basically Roll like eight months of rain. So, yeah. yeah. When it's sunny, it's very nice. It's very nice when it's. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so Outside. We, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, give and take. It is. Yeah. It doesn't get too hot. Doesn't get too cold. That's true. But there's a bit of rain and lots of beautiful things to see. California Extreme Crossover would be good. Lots of ex Atari developers yes, show up to that. Yes, that's very true. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So it is May, and we haven't given away a coaster for mm. May. And I have a bunch because I have been very actively making awards. Yeah, those I'm are very along. close to my first round. <laughs> there are a few in the first round that are that are going to be rejected. Yeah, and then I'll have to redo. Okay, but it's very close to being finished in a few weeks. Yes. I think if I dedicate some time to it, the last little while things have been a little uh, unstable around here. So, yeah. um, but we're on track, and uh, I have I have a desk full of them upstairs right now There's a lot. so yeah. yeah they look good they look coming good. soon coming soon all the they're devs coming. so all the devs who have been asking yes they're coming along very well so so yeah. maybe give away a few to make it lost time. <laughs> well we just haven't uh done for may so there is no lost time we're still, <laughs> we're still in may yeah um but so we'll i have a bunch of new ones that i've thrown together uh, let me see here so okay yep there's lots the but we have ones. to uh have think of a trivia question Oh, or we can do the, the, the tile pulls. Do you still have the tiles? Uh, yeah, let's see. I don't like this one. This one's not great. I'll okay. use that for my drink. Okay. Um, I don't have it here, but it is upstairs if you wanted to run and get it. In these are our coasters that we use here. So, so. we're going to give one away. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. I don't care. <laughs> Those are ours. Okay. Yeah. Because we've, we've been putting our drinks on them. So. They're easily wiped down. Well, they get scratched up over time. Um, People want nice ones. So if these are the good ones. These I'll are the show good them ones. off. Okay. And we'll give them away halfway through playing uh, Boulder Dash. Oh, smart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's just show them very quickly. We could do a tile tile pull. Do you have any Boulder Dash trivia? <laughs> now they're looking it up. Yeah. <laughs> good point. Good point. So there's that one. Sparkly. We'll quickly go through it. Some of them are a little more simple. So that one has a bunch of gold stars behind the zero page. So it's a little hard to read, but it's pretty fun. Um, 
one. That one's gold with the, all of them are holographic. That one I really like, but it's hard that to read the great. zero page, but it's filled with daisy glitter. Very green. Yeah, I like the daisy glitter. Uh, that's a simple zero, ZPH. And then my, my other favorite, which is just behind that, is what I call the bubble zero page. It's got yes, blue ones. and it's got bubbles all around it. Very cute. You know, for the underwater level. So, yeah. Oh, oh right. thank you, VVG. Double downs <laughs> uh, using the ZBH coaster right now. You yeah. are not eligible, so you can't. Uh, oh. You can't, uh, um, and so I just. Nostalgic, Estramirs, Vitoko, Thomas Yench, Gamma Dev, Double Down, and Nop90 cannot participate. Oh. Um, <laughs> I. Did a light just yeah. dim? Yeah, after what X minutes, it? it dims every oh, time. Oh, funny. That's so weird. Uh, what I was going to say is the reason why I have more coasters is because I use the excess resin to make them as I'm right. making all of the awards. So. Yeah. Oh, oh but, oh, but... <laughs> but you have one. You should be happy you have one. No. And you won already. <laughs> um, so just a quick look at... The mermaid game. Yes, yes. Miss Command. The, bu the, the bubble. The bubbles. Oh, what mermaid uh, game? <laughs> no. Well, it's the water level coaster, the bottom one with oh, the blue. Okay. Every once in a while, you have to try something new. Yeah, no, it's really nice. I, I it's love one of color. my favorites. I like the bubbles. I'm going to make more with the bubbles, I think. So, so this is one yeah. of the things we did on vacation. Uh, we went to this festival, <laughs> uh, Cruel World Festival. It was fantastic. Um, so you can see the artists there, which would probably appeal to this demographic. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, headlined uh, by Duran Duran, Interpol, Blondie, Simple Minds, Placebo, Soft Cell, Adamant, Ministry playing their first two albums, which are not like Ministry's plays now. It was very interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah. Uh, Jesus and Mary Chain, Gary Newman playing his full first album. Yep. Start to finish. Yeah. His three daughters sang on one of the yep, songs. Yeah. Yeah. It looked very uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, yes, they did. Supergroup, Dream Car, and a bunch of other uh, bands. Really like may French or may Police. Not. I really like French Police. I'm just yeah. gonna. Point I love that the out. Faint. The Faint, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there were a lot. We didn't get a chance to see all nope. of them. Harsh Symmetry was really good too. Yep. Leathers is from Vancouver. From Vancouver. Yep. Oh, you know, Leathers rendered Ghost. They're from Vancouver. Yeah. We saw their very first show ever in Vancouver. Yes, we did, didn't we? We've seen them so many times. Yeah. And of course, they're really good. Actors is their other group that yes. is made of. They just add an, another singer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or a singer. A and different the sing, singer. The yeah. singer plays guitar. Yeah. Doesn't the singer play the drum? No. S the singer in. Um, the actors plays the drums. No. Oh, Same no. drummer. Same drummer. Okay, yeah. never mind. Um, let this is great. I've seen the faint. They co-ed like with Lady, Lady Tron. And we're seeing Lady Tron soon. Lady Tron's seen them before. As well. Yeah, yep. Lady Tron's great. How was Blondie? We saw her last time. So, them last time, two yeah. years ago. Yeah. Um, her voice was was good, but she is old. So Yeah. It was it was a she little... sounds appropriate for her age. Yeah, yeah. I will yeah. just say that. It was still excellent. Very excellent. The music was fantastic. She can't quite hit the high notes like she could yeah, before, but, but she powered through it. Who doesn't awesome. like Blondie? Like, oh, so the music was so good. Um, and I, uh, I got the la latest Faint album because of you. Oh, oh there really? We go. Yep. Um, and uh, anyway. and Duran Duran. Yeah, Duran Duran was amazing. Yeah, amazing. And I've seen Duran Duran at least twice before, and people, I don't like live in the last. 10 ish years. And people were saying his voice was bad. And I was like, it was oh, rough. it sounded appropriate. It was a little rough. So normally it's perfect. Yes. Wow. Yeah, his voice was a little rough. Simon's. Yep. Um, but Simon Le Bon. Simon Le bon. But uh, it is, again, Duran Duran like Blondie, they are just a band of hits, like like yeah. number one songs. Have a lot of hits. So many hits. Every song, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot they did this that. song. They, they did that? Yeah. They did that? Oh yeah. my god. I, it, they were fantastic. Uh, and they uh, yeah. played uh, the James Bond theme, A View to a Kill. Oh, it's it so... So good. That is probably one of the best James Bond <laughs> songs, yeah. theme songs, I think. Yeah. I just think they're fantastic. And I've seen them a few times, and I've never been disappointed. Nostalgia. Uh, nostalgic has seen Duran Duran four, four times. times. More than I have, even. <laughs> thank you for the resub, Vintage Game of Memories. Yay, oh, and thank I forgot you. to thank all the other resubscribers. Dan AVC, Al Nefer, uh, Spiceware, and uh, the anonymous gifter who gave out five subs. That was lovely. Thank was you so really, much. really, really nice. Yeah. And Miss Command. Yes. Uh, love Duran Duran. Yeah. Yes. So, so uh, So it was a fantastic... 
it, it was, was a music festival. Yep. I was thoroughly exhausted by the end. I think we were there right when it opened, and it was 12 hours long. It was 12 hours. It was 12 hours long. <laughs> it was 12 hours long. A home to home, yeah. 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 So, um, sure. I, but it was it was good. And, and you know what I, I kind of liked about it? It wasn't like a three-day festival. It was the one Just day. Just one day. Yep. Cram it all in. Yep. Well worth a trip to... Um, uh, LA, if you can yep. stand LA. Uh, yep. We like LA. Uh, yep. Not everyone does. <laughs> I like the things in LA. I like the things in LA. LA itself. Mm. It's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. I find it an interesting city. Um, but uh, all the same, um, yeah, that is a that is a festival worth attending. Yeah, we've gone twice. Yep. Um, last year's was eh, eh, in terms of the artists, nothing that we wanted to see or we have seen them before. Yeah, so we didn't so. go. Yeah, in the previous year, but we always keep an eye out to see who's who's. Um, yeah. It's Carl right G, it's, it's just a little bit of, of vodka in soda, so, yeah. LA's more of a region. Yeah, it's just LA all is, is huge. LA is so big and so... Massive. And it takes forever to get across it, yeah. which makes it seem even bigger. Yeah. Uh, so, let's get to the game uh, before Andrew Davy passes out. Okay. From exhaustion. <laughs> uh, so, let's uh, go back in time a little bit. Uh, on April 5th, 2021, this was his first post about the new Boulder Dash. Uh, looking to the future, I'm interested in writing Boulder Dash 2. He posted April 5th, 2021. Uh, Ten years after the original Boulder Dash, we now have new technologies and understanding of the machine. And I thought rather than continue to use the original engine, I'd have a go at developing a new one for future versions of Boulder Dash. The IP owners, BBG and, uh, Entertainment, have kindly allowed me to demonstrate videos of the engine as it's being developed. Mm. Um, so he kept working on it for the next three years mm. that have passed since he posted that. And uh, we did show it off in um, 2021, shortly after that, two weeks after he, he posted that announcement and showed... Mm -hmm. His uh, development, no, hey. baby, the, <laughs> the new engine. Uh, and it was thoroughly impressive then. Wait till you see it now. No. He has been posting oh, oh, oh. Uh, videos and little clips nice. of things that he has developed mm -hmm. for it. Um, but this is the culmination of three years of work. Wow, wow, wow. This is bad kitty. Yeah. <laughs> you know that. All cats know that sound. Um, so May 17th, uh, is when he, um, announced what was happening now and is why we are playing this now. So let's read what he posted, um, a couple days ago. I'm delighted to announce the approval by BBG Entertainment of a limited release of my Boulder Dash demo huh? on the Atari 2600. So this is Boulder Dash 2 free demo binary. Uh, those who've been following development of this game in the forum have been aware of the astounding graphics and gameplay that this demo shows is possible on a 50-year-old Atari 2600 platform. This demo runs on all Atari 2600 compatible consoles, for example, via the Harmony Cart. I have formal approval to release just 100 copies of the demo in binary form. You supply the cart or run on an emulator. A binary that can run on a Harmony cartridge or the Stella or and Gopher emulators is provided completely free of charge. Uh, what? Oh, the so the demo doesn't cost anything. So it is free to get this, this demo Lovely. that we are going to be playing today. Nice. Uh, full copyright is asserted, maintained by BGBG Entertainment. The binaries demo is free to own and use, but not free to copy, distribute, or sell. Each copy is individually serial numbered, so you receive a unique binary of the game. So this is if your you share it, binary. They will know. The, 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 yep, yeah, the software police <laughs> will come after you. They will know. Andrew will hunt you down. Yeah. <laughs> um, this release consists of a binary image with three brand new caves, each with five challenging levels. If you'd like to request a copy, please send me a personal message via this forum. Now, be very aware of that. Don't post a public message. You have to personally message him yes. on the 2600 Wizards forum right. that I just posted. I've never seen a non-free demo. That's true. Hey, hey, he's pushing the boundaries <laughs> of what's going on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have either. Demo is demonstration. Yeah. Usually 
there's there obviously is not a charge for, the, for them, but yeah, a non free non free demo. Yeah, no, they're all free demos, but this one you can't distribute. No, yeah. uh, there I've seen a non free demo. Micro Vaders on the links. Yeah, was not the full game. There's a lot of games, but that's a demo. The, that's what a demo is. It's part of. A but game. you had to buy it. You had to buy the demo. But it wasn't a binary. It wasn't a cartridge. But it's not the full game. But, um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, send me a personal message uh, via this form. There, mm. That's better. Um, and I will add you to the list and announce the lucky recipients in Distribute Binary shortly after the re official release date of June 1st, 2024. So you have about 10 days left to put your name in. Uh, to save myself a ton of work, I will not respond individually until after 1st of June. But you have uh, left your name here or PM as directed, then I'll be sure to see your request. And then there's a whole bunch of disclaimer stuff mm -hmm. about BBG Entertainment. Lovely. So definitely uh, uh, message Andrew Davey if you like what you see. And you, and you get, will. And you will. And it, you will. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, you will get a free demo. And you'll be able to play what uh, we're playing today in just 10 days. Or so, depending on how fast you can get them out. Um, okay, let's see what other notes I have. Oh, um, yeah, just before we delve into the game, I wanted to show a death screen that will not be included in the game. It was kind of made for the game, if you haven't seen this already. I haven't. Um, so this is something he came up with. Um, that is super, super crazy and cool looking, mm -hmm. um, but it won't be in the game. It's it's like s something from Poltergeist almost, <laughs> a demon through reaching through your screen, and it's almost three D ish. Um, wait till that goes away. So it's a flickering this isn't it? skull. This is it. Oh, flickering death skull. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. It's super, <laughs> super creepy. <laughs> but, oh my god, like... That's it's really good. It's a bunch of random playfield pixels, but then it emerges... It emerges from the screen. From the screen, almost 3D-ish. Wow. Yeah. How, how does that have a 3D effect? Yeah, great for Halloween. I think yeah. the 3D effect comes from the same... Well, the, the density of the color like look at that look at that it actually creates the image as time goes on it it comes look with the that. flicker and the slight movement oh my gosh and the establishment of you perceiving it emerging from it there was a, a music video in the 90s um oh what was the band called and they take this spike and they hit it through the TV screen uh, and wiggle it around. Um, it was a, a rock band. Really? Heavy rock band. Mm. Um, Sounds somebody, vaguely familiar. But somebody will know it. Someone will remember. It has Jesus in the title of it. Um, I can't remember what it is. But yeah, it had that flicker okay. to it. And it like flickered as it hammered and it looked like they were hammering it through your television set. It had a great effect. Oh, cool. Guar? Uh, uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ Pose by... I've got, I've got, I'm close to it. <laughs> Keep thinking about it. Metal Jesus? No, no, no Metal Jesus. <laughs> so he says about that, uh, we have a rage quit in Soundgarden. Is it Soundgarden? Oh, okay. That's it. You got it. Metal Lunar is the first one. <laughs> Um, not quite the skull I originally did. That was out of character for the game. Mm -hmm. So that's the skull we just saw. So it didn't quite fit in with the, the with game. With the, so the style of game. Yeah. That would be amazing. So now it's simply a red flash. In yep. a haunted house. Oh my God, it would freak if you, you out. If you did a retro basement, like from the 80s, and then you had your Atari or, or your Atari <laughs> set up. Yeah. And then it was just flickering and then then, then that would that come up on, on the screen. That comes on every once in a while. Oh, that would yeah. be fantastic. Was it Spoonman? <laughs> No. I don't know. The song was called Jesus Christ Post. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, uh, so it's simply now a red flash of embarrassment, rage when you rage when you return to the menu screen, pressing reset during game. As an aside, I'll reuse the skull animation on some other game. Yeah. Um, and then we just showed the video. In my view, it's one of the more remarkable pieces of animation for the 2600. Yeah. hundred percent agree. Yeah. The way the skull partially fades in and out of the static and then sometimes locks in 3D sharpness is quite mm -hmm. remarkable. Yeah. It's just... I, uh, I don't even know how he does it. It's just so good. I would love it if it was just like a little Halloween demo that you could run on your TV. And just let it run looping. Just let it loop. Yeah. It would be so cool. That'd be great for a Halloween release. It would be. Yeah. <laughs> but also very cool in a game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. I need yeah, to it is definitely too good not to use. the notes for this episode. Uh, let me just print it out. Five pages. No, that's right. Okay. So, uh, Tanya will be reading up out the notes and I'll be playing it because I've been yes. practicing this game. Yes, and he, you I are... don't guarantee anything, but I have been practicing. <laughs> Much good player of Boulder Dash than me. So, so. it's five pages. So. Okay. Well, we'll give it a second. New creepy pasta. Playfield Man. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's a new creepy pasta. Uh, okay. Let's do this. on let's switch over and there are so many innovations in this game there are many pages being printed out right now that uh it's good we have lots of gameplay to go through because <laughs> there's lots of notes pressure mm -hmm. james's hand shaking uh, it's so nervous so nervous. No, I uh, I will play badly, but I have beaten all three levels on easy. Um, harder? I don't think so. Okay, got it. St am you I starting from yeah. page one? I'll staple it so they're um, sure. in order, <laughs> just in case the cat like I don't know what he's going to do, it but it flies onto stuff. the floor. I mean yeah. that could happen. All right, here we go. Boulder Dash. Ooh, look at that. And if you can see on the title screen, Andrew included uh, a beautiful um, tribute to Sprite there. Oh, yeah. There's a little Sprite cat oh, on the screen. Thank you. Um, so this... So this game um, has um, effects that uses uh, flicker, and you're able to turn on and off the flicker by going on and off. We're going to leave it on for the first bit, mm -hmm. and people can let turn me know off. if it's if it's coming through. Um, the last time we did a flicker game, it was a long time ago. Last time we played this, um, but I've increased the bandwidth greatly, and I have a much faster computer that can do better compression okay and do better discrete frames so hopefully it'll look a little better. hopefully it'll look better okay um so we're gonna start with normal because there is normal medium hard expert and super i am not super so <laughs> i am normal so we're That's gonna start a with cave a. cave a um so first i'll read this out okay. uh, so uh he, he wanted to do some thanks a uh, huge help to me in the past year or two has been Jurgen or Oster, Bomberman 94 on Atari Age. In particular, the PAL palettes in the game uh, are a result of many weeks of work by him. Collaboration from others behind the scenes often make huge difference to a release like this. Jurgen has found many, many, many bugs and thrown heaps of use useful suggestions my way. A huge out shout out to Jet Set Illy for his amazing Gopher emulator and the extraordinary support and feature adding everyone should be using Gopher for development. Gopher digs deep for developers. So if you are a developer and you, for 2600 and you haven't checked out Gopher, definitely do it um, in addition to Stella. So there you go. Okay. Um, it is reminiscent of me, Vitoko. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, uh, I, would say I won't James. say that it is uh, me just, just with the blonde say, floppy hair. There is but, some floppy hair there. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, it's me. Um, let's just say. So look at this. This, this just before we go into a level, That's it gives amazing. you an overview of the That's level. That's amazing. It gives butterflies flying in behind. Beautiful. <laughs> it has 
a bounce, be greedy. <laughs> a bouncy uh, uh, title for the font level. Font in the bottom, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it is amazingly smooth. Oh, just, just to wait. Yep. <laughs> okay, so should I mention the main features of Boulder Dash 2? And I've, look at the look at the sunglasses. I have awesome sunglasses. Nice. There are three. I just want to do a couple quick ones. Quick okay. things. Go ahead. So there's three different views you can play in. Yeah. This is kind of the normal view. Then there's the zoomed out view. That's nice. Where you can still see everything. That's quite useful, yeah. You can see the diamonds. You can see the boulders. And then there's super zoomed out view. Where you can still see the diamonds. And you can still move, right? And you can still move. That's amazing. And play the game. So it really depends on the level you're doing and what you're doing in the level. Yeah. What screen you want to use. Um, and you, you stand under a boulder. Watch the boulder fall first. It's so I smooth. I love the bouncing. And it goes... And it, remember, the, everything you see is play field. Except for my character. That's I'm going to die because I'm... Okay. Okay, now you can go ahead. Okay. So, main features of Boulder Dash 2. 32K CDFJ game. About 100 bytes free at the moment. Uh oh, only 100 bytes. Chrono Color and interleaved Chrono Color ICC technology. Chrono Color uses triplets of single colored lines with on off pixels on different scan lines blended vertically to give the impression of more than one color per line. ICC extends this and uses triplets in space down the screen, but also time across multiple frames to triple the color resolution of Chrono Color and provide a more solid looking but shimmery screen. In ICC, the pixels are blended vertically down scan lines, but also time wise across frames in groups of three frames for individual scan lines, with the colors rolling across three frame and three scan line groups. It's astounding and somewhat tricky to wrap one's head around. It looks fantastic. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> the Togo says, haha, it even has parallax. It does. <laughs> it's. Uh, this is one of the most advanced games I've ever seen on the 2600. There are so many features that. Daniel, yeah. read out. So game is switchable between either. They use exactly the same source data. First game to demonstrate multicolor asymm asymmetric play fields with animation overlaid with six sprite routine menu text. Three caves, five distinct levels per cave, 15 playable levels. And yep. that's in the demo? Yes. In the demo. Um, so there's A, B, and C cave. Yes. I just completed A, but on the easy level. Okay. So there are five different levels for each cave. and Oh, I see. There's A, B, and C. Okay. And they are different. There's, um, say, and... there's more things to collect. There's gotcha. less time. The, the level is completely rearranged in terms of boulders and even adds enemies in oh. um, as you successfully, successively, successively go up the level. Software implemented character graphics display, 128 character shapes, each four pixels wide by eight... Trixels Deep, which Trixels. is the equivalent of 24 lines, times 8 colors per Trixel. Character animation systems operate on a per-frame basis. All characters of a given type, e.g. Dirt, can animate at 60 hertz. All Dirt run the same little animation sequence, and a per-character slash game loop basis... Oh my Individual goodness. characters can independently animate, e.g. this single dirt character can animate on a 15 hertz basis independent of all the other dirt on screen. Dirt! I said dirt a lot in that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dirt. There is a lot of dirt in the game, so... Complex internal attribute system assigns attributes to types of characters to make logic easy. For example, the character ch underscore butterfly underscore zero is the first frame of a butterfly. It auto animates through a type system where we look up the type of character type underscore butterfly and then look up an animation program for that type which gives the character to display a sequence of four different characters uh, i don't need to manually animate the butterflies i just put a butterfly type character on the board and it will animate automatically um, but back to attributes the butterfly type has an attribute squashable 
happen. So anything falling can look up the type of the object it is falling onto and check the squashable bit. <laughs> squashable. I like squashable. Um, there are about 24 different attribute bits, all giving very complex gameplay logic at extremely cheap cost. Again, it's complex, but powerful. Wow. Oh boy. It's okay. <laughs> I might be able to recover. The baby says, ooh, a slowdown. A slowdown? Okay, that's a bit of an issue. Time is short and emulators are not emulating this properly. Ah. It looks pretty good to me, but oh, you I would blocked. know. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard for me to know whether it's slower running fast or yeah. whatever. Scrolling full screen parallax background plane. Board of 40 by 22 characters. Insane circle swipe to from any focal point in the virtual board. Everything on screen is fully redrawn to internal video buffers every single frame. This is a requirement due to the ICC display changing every single frame to achieve multicolor display. It is couch compliant! Woo! Oh, I wasted too much time. I'm running out of time. Oh no! Run, 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 run! Get him! Get him! Oh, 10 seconds! No, there's no chance. <laughs> oh, smoosh. Ah! Uh. Nice! <laughs> nice, nice. It, it had a little problem there. Oh, Andrew Davies, switch back to normal or mid view and it will go proper speed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, proper speed. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Testimony now, that rock hit you really hard. Yeah, that's con concussive, that rock right there. Um, intuitive overloaded single button gameplay, multiple resolutions, normal mid view overview, all fully playable, which is very cool. Real time switching a view resolution via joystick button. Yep. So you don't use the button for anything else, right? You're just running into things. Yep. There's, yeah. Um, no, you can. Um, so if you stand here, hold down the button, you can. Oh, you push to the side. Gotcha. You can push to the side. There we go. So you do use the button in the game. Yeah. Oh, these colors are a little bit harder. I gotta do... Oh, my oh. God. Oh, damn. There are some features I'm going to show off that Tanya's going through yeah. um, in a bit. But I'm just playing while she reads out. No, no. Oh. Someone lost video, but the video's back. I don't know what happened there. Good morning, Cyrano. Good morning, Cyrano. Hello to all of Australia. He's waking up. Hello. This time it wasn't Tanya finding the bug. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's good to find these bugs before the before the big release. Uh, sophisticated virtual multi-channel sound, including yes. fading in and out of soundtrack. It Not... is, yeah. It fades in and out if you listen to it. it was... yeah. Andrew Andrew says, "Not too shabby for my first ever sound system." <laughs> and also, I'm rather deaf, so there's that. Oh. It sounds Anime. fantastic too. It does. Yeah. Oh my god. Animating icon preview status screen. Drawing recognizable objects in 4x8 pixels is hard. Very hard. The graphics overall look fantastic given the available resolution. Assisted by some animations, e.g. diamonds embedded in dirt sparkle. Yeah, I do like the sparkle. Oh yeah, the animations in this game are so good. Huge overlaid text, e.g. the game over. Board scrollable after death lets you review the cave level to figure out what to do. I will show that. You will have to show that. Oh, Spicer says the video keeps cutting out for them too. What? Uh -oh. I see no issues here. Not on our end. Uh, I would suggest reloading. Uh, he said he reloaded like 20 plus times. That's not good. Hopefully that gets resolved. It could be a Twitch issue. Stable here says Bureau Pocock, okay. so it might depend on. Might be a local on, yeah. thing. Um, Auto detect console type, full PAL, NTSC, C cam compatible. C cam is awesome as ICC creates new colors not available in the typical C cam world. Screenshots attached. Well, uh, not. I don't have them. <laughs> we're gonna go. Oh, some people are fine. Some. Sound is going out of sync, says Andrew Davy. I don't know. There must be oh, some. Oh, that some... I can fix. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Are we out of sync though? Is it us? Is it well, just Andrew? I'll just. Is it just Andrew? Hello? Anyone? 
Just okay. checking. Mm. I'll restart it. Uh, Sounds okay right. here. 1080p sources fine. Auto, not so much. Okay. Chow Sedoni Mouse says we're in sync for them. Okay. Something is funny. Yeah. It's Andrew's advanced technology. Mm, Andrew Twitch. says I reload in sync, play for a while, and it goes slightly off kilter. Well, something, yeah. Not sure. I, I restarted the video. Keep videos. us up to date on that, what's what's going on, if yeah. anything really funny happens again. Restarted the video stream, so... Did you? Okay. Or the camera, which is the thing that... Sometimes usually, gets out of sync? Usually gets out of sync, so... Okay. We're running out of time again. Oh, uh, I got it! Yeah. The awesome scrolling doesn't look PF pixel-sized at all. In other words, smooth, not clunky, please. Ten seconds to go. Nice. Ooh, 20 channels. So, uh, oh... After dying, you can After scroll dying, around. yeah. We can test that out. We, you can try the advanced level and see how that goes. Yes. Oh, I will die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, might be worth a mention that the objects in overview mode, double click to view, are just a single play field pixel wide, yet mostly recognizable. Could be the first 2600 game ever to have different zoom levels, all completely playable. Yeah, yep. that is that is really... It's completely playable. Yeah. And on this one, you actually do play. I, I find it easy to play. I like how distinct the um, James character is. <laughs> <laughs> the floppy-haired guy is. Floppy, blonde-haired guy yeah. is. Yeah. Um, in the zoomed out Oh, mode. yes. He's very distinctive on the screen, which is really good. Like even that. Look. He's nice and clear. The medium? Yeah. He's fine too? Yep. Very nice. Andrew David, software scaling of the player. Yeah. Yep. Might be worth a mention. Uh, oh, already said that. We have a rage quit. Not quite the skull I originally did. That was out of character for the great game. Yeah, we've, we've shown that off already. Yep. So it's now simply a red flash of embarrassment rage when you return to the new <laughs> screen. screen. Yep. I'll, I'll show that as well. Um, press reset during the game. As an aside, I'll reuse the skull animation on some other game. Here's a video. Yeah, oh, we got the video. Oh, damn it. The, okay, it is I died, so very, here we go. Very, very cool. Nice! That is so nice. Let's scroll around. Let's scroll around with the game over overlaid. Oh, sorry. It's a little, gets a little cranky on different parts of the screen. But... Some parts of the screen. Oh, I love the game. Look at how fast it's rendering. Look at that oh my god, That's amazing. so amazing. Yeah, when you go down too low on this screen. Hint tip to demonstrate the circle swipe swiping in different ways. Get killed in normal view, then scroll elsewhere on the board after you die, then hold down the button to trigger swipe. It will variously swipe left to right, top to bottom, off screen, on screen, etc., depending on where you are relative to where you died. Oh, yes. I will. Sh let's show that right now. You know what that is. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to. If you hold down the button, you die. Then you can move around. And then if you press the button, or you. Oh. That was not good because it was it was flickering. Oh, the circle swipe! I get you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does a full screen <laughs> circle Dave. wipe. Sorry, Andrew. I have about Andrew. ten days to fix these issues. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Okay, so I died there. Yeah. Let's go back to. So right now I'm centered where I died. Let's move over here, not too far, because it has a little bit of issues right now. Yeah. Um. Okay, and I'll do a rage reset. Oh, it's doing nice. a full screen circle centered yeah. on where I died, though. Nice. Not where the screen is. VVG, I vote for Star Wipe. Star Wipe. <laughs> that is very super, or not Super Mario Bros. It's just <laughs> Mario games in general. Or a video super, toaster. Uh, is it Mario? Uh, uh, Mario Super Galaxy. Mario World? Super Mario Galaxy. Do they have the Star Wipes? I think. Uh, Something like that. Might have been sixty-four. Galaxy. Even. Galaxy. Maybe the first time. Okay, let's see if I can actually defeat this level. Oh, so hard. No! Oh. I went down too far! Killed some of them. Okay. <laughs> Gamma Dev, why have hamburger when you can have steak? <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> play these levels. Yeah, says we will. Andrew Davey. Yeah. We will. Okay.
digital release of the Boulder Dash 2 demo. Did you cover this already, or do you want me to cover it too? No, that is... Don't cover that just yet. Okay. Um, so, did you talk about the rain effect? No, I don't think so. Okay. So there are drippy effects in this game. So the, see Not those little things dropping? Yes! Okay, now watch when it goes... Ooh, off a of boulder. The boulder on the left-hand side? Yeah. So wait for one to drip above it. It this won't now is, that you... you know, won't watch, watch pot. This close. will be incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. There it is. Nice! It drips around the boulder. Have you seen what happens when it lands on you? I shake off. No, look, you're you're looking at your. Ah! ah! Run! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and catch one. Ah! No. Okay, I'm safe here for now. For the time. Ah, here we go. Oh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Twenty-six twenty six hundred fluid simulation. It is. Okay, I'll I'll do it this time. Oh, okay. Here's a here's a diamond open as well. Okay, okay. I'll stand beside it. Yeah, it drips Watch off it. the edge. It goes over the diamond. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wait for one to fall. There we go. <laughs> oh, shakes it off. Oh, oh my god, so it's so cute. Amazing. And also, he makes a face when it drops to the side. So when it hits a boulder and it drops off the side of the boulder. He makes a face too? He has a different face, yeah. Oh. It's great. And it's done with play field. Like, how? How does he do it? It looks amazing. So what I'm doing right now is setting up all these boulders so I can drop them on the butterflies. Oh, butterflies. <gasps> too far. Yeah. Too far. Sometimes I hold the joystick down just a little bit too much. Are the physics of the water drops hitting an object the same as an object landing on another object? Andrew Davies says it's a separate system. And the, and the diamonds shine... Is the, is the draw similar to the squashable animation system you had, Andrew, that you mentioned? Or is that different than, than a boulder falling? Mm. Just curious. I, I, I think I'm just fascinated with using the term squashable. But squashable! Yeah. As far as it triggering an animation. Yeah, my joystick on this at least loves to do double movements. Okay. No, raindrops are a completely separate system. Okay, the attribute system, squash was for character. Okay, so specifically the character. So right now, I'm waiting for this. Kill some of them. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Woot. Then I go down and die. Ah! ah! Yeah, some overruns here. A little bit overruns. Andrew didn't mention maybe showing it in emulator, but yeah. it still looks good. <laughs> it's it's fine. That's that's a lot of trouble. <laughs> um, Raindrops are a bitmap draw over the character graphics. Okay. No, Jesus, I'm terrible. <laughs> Dropping diamonds on my head. Well, we're all looking at the backgrounds. That's part of the problem. <laughs> it's like, ooh, look at the pretty backgrounds, and that's how you die. It's like me playing Baldur's Gate. Ooh, a cat! I have a cat I have to talk <laughs> Go pet to. pet the cat. All the, the, all hiss, the, hiss, all the quests. Hiss, 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 I say. All the side quests just disappear. Yep, it's all about the cats yeah. at that point. Oh, don't worry about the issues, Andrew. What you have looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, it does. He's, he's just saying, I minor. cringe every time without fail. You do, but we don't, so. Yeah. Games perhaps show with chrono color off too. Oh yes, we'll yeah, do that. Yeah, turn now. that off and yeah. I'll do that now. I'll, sh I'll show the I'll here. show the death where it goes. Um, so if you hold down the button, it's a rage reset. Turns into a skeleton, and the screen goes red. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. So this is without the. Uh, I see. see. 20 hertz um, triplicate play field. Yeah. 
Everything is very still very visible. Uh, pull out to one of the other zooms. Okay, yeah. You can still tell what everything is. What everything is. is. All the diamonds are sparkling. Yep. Nice. Why? No, bad joystick. <laughs> it does double movements. I'm happy you're complaining about the joystick for once. <laughs> it's usually me. Yep, usually you're playing. <laughs> usually and I'm I like, go, it's the joystick's problem. I just tell her to play better. Yeah. And then I take the joystick. Then I the get joystick. really mad. Then I take the joystick and go, oh, sorry. It was the joystick. <laughs> Always the joystick. Yeah, exactly. See? That? I did it again. Try a CX-40, says uh, the Togo. Never. 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 I don't like CX-40s. They give me pain. Pain in my hands. Uh, Gemadav says, more like a ZX Spectrum game, but still with better color. That's uh, very yes. true. <laughs> Way more color than ZX Spectrum games. I will do this on easy. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Sterno says, it's, it's okay, Andrew. He, he uses the same excuse for Gravitic Mines. That's right. It's a hard game. Gravitic, Gravitic Mines. Mines is hard. Yeah. CX40 is still better than a pro line. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We're lined up. We wait for a spot. And the butterflies. Here's one coming up. Oh, Jesus. Way too early. A ball with rusty nails is better than a throw line. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. At least you can hold on to the ball nicely. And the ball is more ergonomic. It still has the drips in this view. Every nothing's missing in this view. In this um with the ICC turned off. It's doing double movements. Oh, that's my fault, not the joysticks. Yeah, it does look really nice, the print of color. Even on my RGB delayed playfield issue <laughs> system, it, it's behaving perfectly. Sometimes there's um, problems because this um, RGB mod has um, playfield delay issues. It's very time sensitive, but uh, I don't see any issues at all. And this is very playfield heavy. Okay, let's do it. Die. Run, 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 run. And then you just run. Run, 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 Ah, and death. Okay, let's pretend I beat that. I got all the things. So is the chrono color fine for everyone? I didn't see anybody complaining about it, so. No, people people are complimenting the color quite a bit. It's Good. very nice. Okay, we'll switch back to that. Yeah. So, the ones he suggested beat the level with the power of imagination. I did. I did it in my mind. I wish I recorded it. So he says, do A on hard. And it says there's an amoeba at the bottom of the game. Oh, nice. Of the cave. Okay. So if you want to talk about the digital release of Boulder Dash 2 demo. Demo is limited. Thank, Thank you, you Charles Wheeland! Charles Wheeland! Woo! I think everyone's been away for a while and a lot of people are resubscribing, oh, yeah. so we appreciate that very much. So if you look at this... Ooh, look at that! Completely different! Wow, it is! It's quite different! So... Oh, it's already multiplying. Uh-oh. Okay. I got oh, it. the amoeba? Yep. I'm gonna play it in this mode. So demo is limited to 100 copies each individually serial numbered what? in the binary. Seven seconds? Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to hard. Ah! Okay, you have to be a lot faster. That's my advice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, pro, demo, pro demo is limited to 100 copies each individually serial numbered in the binary per BBG requirement. 
This is unusual for any form of game distribution, and although the binary is free in that there is no charge to obtain a copy, it is not yours to do with what you want. <laughs> you cannot copy, distribute, sell it. Consider the free copy more or less a semi-permanent loan for the purposes of review. <laughs> Just like an advanced copy of a movie a studio might send out. So it's like you're voting at the Oscars. You've got <laughs> right. the VHS tapes from the 80s and 90s that not they sent you. To anyone unmarked with a serial number and and you know if you distribute it you will get in trouble and you'll get kicked out of the academy there are watermarks on it you just don't know where they are <laughs> exactly um oh what that was so fast it fell on me so quick andrew says back in the 80s when our qa people found bugs we often didn't believe them oh, that's then funny. they started videotaping their testing and programmers had no choice but yep. to believe they could this not like, pretend they didn't exist this is like that i can't deny these issues they're recorded yeah uh the binary belongs to bbg and myself and especially the copyright that means that if you don't agree with or like these terms then don't ask for a copy it is what it is. I've personally put years of work into this and BBG heaps of money into the IP. Uh, we're doing what we can to share with the community. Yep. Um, but any sort of piracy or disrespect for the terms would probably see the prospects of a future release disrespect. built. Do Don't not disrespect, disrespect the terms. Or Boulder Dash. Atari the cat will come after you and scratch your eyes out. Ah, I got stuck. This, this is hard. It lives up oh, to its no. name. Oh no, smoosh. Uh, he um, looks around as a skeleton and he goes, eh. Yeah. I like the skeleton. The skeleton's so great. I like the yellow skeleton. It's like it's been exposed to too much radiation. Cubanismo said, good grief, it's hard to find the subscribe button in mobile UI. Oh, that sucks. Mm. You have to be so fast on this level. It says speedrun, and it is speedrun. I haven't even made it to the bottom. Never, never mind. Uh, I've hit 22 gems. UG says, even on the PC, it takes me a minute to find it. I don't know why they bury it so much. Don't they and want also, people to And also subscribe? the Prime. Like, you oh, have yeah. to, like, click a thing to say you want to use Prime. They really want you to spend money. And it's like, dude, this ah, is... Oh. Every time. You're every stuck? time. I have to beat that boulder down. That's the problem. Oh. And there's no time on this level. Oh, that's really fast. This is a challenge, so when you get this game... It, you, you'll have plenty Andrew of Andrew Davey, in speedrun, you do not need to collect diamonds. Oh. Don't waste your time. So speedrun, just get to the end. Okay. Don't die. That is the speedrun uh, approach. Um, I see. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. Ah, so fast at we falling. Are, we are at a we shall, we shall wait and see holding pattern as to what to do after if 100 copies are fully subscribed. I suspect we won't have much trouble reaching 100. I suspect you won't either. Yeah. Um, again, it is what it is, and I'm happy to have permission to release any at all. There are no plans at the stage for full cart copy, although it will work just fine on cart now, e.g. a Harmony, um, or for a full game release. The latter would require much more programming from me, possibly upgrading to 64K CDFJ+, and doing a whole lot of cave design, which I'm inclined to think what's in no. it for me. Oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't work in this mode because it's too slow. Oh, no. Also, but he already addressed that in the yeah. comments. Uh, also, there is... Uh, where are we? You just totally messed me up there. Me? Yes, you. Mm. Also, there is an issue of who would make the carts. As you probably know, I am not currently willing to associate with Atari the company in any way. And despite some promising signs recently, I think they've dropped the ball once again. That's about all I can think of. Many thanks to BBG for coming to the party. Yeah, that is really great. Although some may not be happy about the 100 limit or the encoded serial number and implicit tracking this implies, oh, we should remember that this is being done, released for free, both in terms of the work I've put into it and the IP that BBG owns. And put simply, we didn't have to do this. Oh, well, I can't beat that boulder. I think at the end of the day, if you can work something out to distribute a game that you've put your hard work and time into and get it out to a community of people who are definitely going to appreciate it, I think yep. the community appreciates that. We appreciate that. Oh. We appreciate having yes. the opportunity to play this game. So yes. I wish, I, I don't think you're going to have any trouble hitting that 100 limit, by the way. And some people want everything for free. But everything's not free. No! Work! So, effort! There's so much that goes into these games, so... Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I gotta beat that... No! Oh, the boulder! <laughs> Jeez. 
I'll do it. I gotta do this. <laughs> if you played on an emulator, it would be fine. Well, yeah. Hmm. 8 bit poets has very reasonable terms. I think they're very reasonable. Yes. Um, yes. And again, it's free. the fact that BB, BBG is supporting you and releasing this for people is, yes. is absolutely amazing. It's like really. An authorized for. What's the next one I need to do? I know oh. what I need to do on this. You're just frustrated. We can go back to it after. Sometimes a, a little a little break is good. Yep. Um, can you go up and around the boulder? Oh, let me try that once again. Okay. But what's the next one? Oh, um, the second one? Yeah, second one he says to try. Uh, B super, a gajillion diamonds at the same time. One more time! Yeah. Yeah, Cubanismo, nothing is free. This is very true. Ah, damn it. Um, one thing I might suggest is to keep the settings because each time you die, it resets it to a normal. Mm -hmm. Andrew? Just for Andrew. Um, and if you're trying to defeat a level at a certain difficulty, you have to reset it each time. And I just, I just absolutely love him shaking his head from the water. I, I just, that's such oh, a wonderful so little good. touch. Uh, so, uh, continuing on on the digital release, as to distribution of the 100, uh, you need to send me a PM via the 2600 Wizards forum. Some people have followed the instructions correctly. Most have not. That has been <laughs> my experience with instructions and people. Good Yay, job. I'm not completely useless. <laughs> Uh, I will be doing allocations in order of one, people who have followed the instructions, two, people who indicated in some way that they'd like a copy but didn't follow the instructions. <laughs> the instructions are there to make my life easier, as you can imagine, making 100 serial numbered versions and manually sending these to people with various correspondence required is going to take up some of my time. I have, have to not only build the embedded serial number versions, but also keep track of who gets what and send the binary via PM, etc. Sorry, what was it again? The next one to try to look at? B super. B super. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. If people can't follow instructions, how oh, can that be? Yeah. Um, and although it's been implicit to date, I'll make it explicit. The serial number makes it easy for tracking oh, who was Jesus. the original recipient of a binary. There's so many diamonds. If you don't want that, don't ask for a copy. Yeah. If you can't follow the rules, you don't get the game. Yeah, exactly. It's very easy to follow the rules, so. Yeah, it's very nice that um, the IP holders at Boulder Dash are allowing their IP to be yeah. used in an official manner. How many do I need to get? Oh, plus 66. Oh, oh I don't again, need to get capitalist any. capitalist fallacy. You do not need to collect diamonds on this level. Oh. <laughs> you just need to get to the end. Is, oh. it, is it another speed run? Oh my god, it's way up there. It's just oh, more difficult. Oh, you have to dump them. You just have to dump them. The problem somehow. is they fall on dying. you. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I mean, they're diamonds and they're cool, but I don't need to get them. I do have a lot of time, but Hi, sweet kid. kind of just down and then move to the side. Down and move to the side. Oh, I can't move to the side very well. I love it when this cat looks at me because the rainbow of the zero page sign reflects in his eyes. Oh, rainbow cat. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, this is better. Oh, not when I go. Smoosh. You need to get 20 or so, so not. Oh, there's plenty. Uh, what is it? A? Just forget. Cubanismo, my free staff craves those postings. No deliveries every time. Can you deliver this? Oh. I'm about 45 minutes away. Yeah. James has the same approach. Yep. Yeah. In cash, pick up only. I put on all my stuff. <laughs> In cash, pick up only. I'm gonna try you... this once more. Depending on what it well, no, if you're picking up, then you'll go somewhere. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well yeah. that's them selling it. It's what I put on Facebook Marketplace. Especially if you have furniture. Oh, it's geez. like, no, I'm not delivering furniture to you. Yeah, I'm not renting a van. Yeah. And... <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. Okay, well, we saw it. Not going to be able to complete it, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Davey, I got a few. Please send my cartridge to you messages. People don't read. See, there are no cartridges. <laughs> there are no cartridges. Uh, oh my god. And they're giving you like the address? Their yeah. address? Okay. C on hard. It says a tricky amoeba problem. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. So. 
There's an amoeba in the middle. Where is the exit? Is it that blank space in the top right? That's what I'm guessing. To zoom out immediately. So... Is it... Is it... No? Where's the exit? I don't see the exit. Oh, you probably have to get your... I have to get a certain diamonds amount. Diamonds first. Oh, 20, 23 <laughs> diamonds. Then I'll find out where it is. AVG double Can I get a cartridge number XX? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I only collect cartridge number 30. So if I don't get 30, I would like cartridge number 23. Yeah. It's like, no, you get what you get. Sorry. Oh, no. Ah, no. I have to die. Oh. Taps his foot, looks around, collapses yep. the skull. I think that's a nod to Dragon's Lair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Where he crosses yeah, his arms and collapses into yeah. a skeleton. Gamma Dev, if they took the red pill, they'd know there was no cartridge. <laughs> there's no cartridge. Oh, kid. Oh, there's no cat. Oh, there is. Oh, a there is a gray cat. kitty. Thank goodness. Yes. Our emotional awesome. support kitty. Yes, and we're his emotional support humans. Humans, yeah. It's a good kitty. So, 81. Oh, I thought that was 21. Oh, my God. Well, there's lots of time, but I think I've already screwed myself. Oh, no. I can push that over. Uh, well, Belly says greetings from Chile. Hey, we say, back to yeah, Chile. Greetings from greetings from Canada. Oh no! Oh no! I can go down there. Oh, this is brutal. Are we in the same time zone as Chile? No. No, they're one because South America goes out to the east, mm. and Chile is on the east coast of South America. So they're one. So they're four ahead of us. Mm. So it's quite late. Well, not that late. 11? Maybe <laughs> five ahead. I know I'm going to mess up. It's 1020 now. Okay. Gotcha. So three ahead. Okay. Yeah. 66 still left to go. The difference between an American and, ca and a Canadian is that <laughs> when you put 2221, 20 20, we can translate that. <laughs> we can, yes. Oh, oh, this is a good stash. Oh, I can get in there. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm not saying Americans don't know 24 hour time. Some do, but it's People pretty in the uncommon. Military would. Yeah. I don't find it that uncommon in Canada to see 24 hour time. I don't it's know why that would be. Common. Okay, now where's the exit? Up. Oh, oh, that's not bad. I might be able to actually. Chile is on the way. West Coast. That's what I thought. Where's the amoeba? <laughs> Chile is on the west coast. On oh, the west coast. Yeah. Oh no, I can't get over there. No, no, no. Yeah, but the, but certainly the the placement. We found this out when we did our um, because our oh. geography is not fantastic. When we were doing our uh, New Year's show and we were trying to figure out everyone's time zones, which was very confusing up. with like daylight saving summertime. Um, but yeah, the, the two continents, even though they're American. I did um, it. Good job. On hard. Good oh job. my God. Oh my God. Some of us have managed to decode it. I yeah. didn't see any amoebas. Uh, and then C on super. Yay. Yay. I did a level. Oh. Which is how the two continents are very shifted from each yeah, other. They, yeah. They the make it a bit continents. confusing. Amoeba got completely enclosed and changed to diamonds. Oh, okay, good. Look at all the, look at them all now. Look at them all. How do I, how, how? How do I drop something on them when it's absolutely full? As soon as I touch one of them. How would you do that? I mean, I'm not versed, like I can't even go over there. Oh, I know how. You let them loose first by opening it up. By dropping boulders from underneath. Ah, no, wrong way. Ah. I'll give this one a little bit of a try. Then we'll make... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> then we'll make sure we showed everything off okay. that you talked about. Jesus. Uh, there is a story in here. Terrible. Oh, yes. 
about the finding of a bug. Do you want me to read the story? Yes, please. Well, while I that? while I try this one. What is it? C on super. So everyone's talking about Expo Atari uh, in in what I presume is Spanish. Expo Atari. La Expo Atari. Chaos La Expo Atari. <laughs> it must be a. Um... Which I assume is an Atari Expo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is cool. Hello, back to Expo Atari, Chile. Oh, cool. Are you the host of Expo Atari? Or just now somebody named Expo Atari? <laughs> Jesus, not playing like that, I'll never complete it, that's for sure. Watch for falling boulders. That's what you should name one of these levels. How I found a bug story from today. How I found a bug. I thought this would be interesting, so read it out if you want or not. I want, so I will. <laughs> Uh, so the show version was going along nicely when some bugs started showing up. In the past month, my playtester has been having occasional cra crashes on hardware, but I've not been able to duplicate these on, on the emulators. Very frustrating. At the last minute, literally 3 a.m. this morning, the show version started crashing too, regularly even on the emulators. Normally this is a good thing, regular crashes are fixable. Random crashes are really tricky. But these regular crashes were unfortunately random in nature, just lots of them. Oh. The first sign of stuff being odd was when I noticed that in overview mode, the falling shapes for the boulders looked wrong. Since I'd recently doubled the vertical resolution of those, I figured I'd just forgotten to modify the small shapes for boulders. I had, but when I fixed these up, nothing. I could not for the life of me get the small graphics to display properly. Odd. So off to the draw code and started hardwiring in particular shapes, and still things did not work properly. So maybe it's a timing issue. Time overflows are extremely common because I'm pushing the machine to the limits. Oh yeah. I cut out a column of the draw, and things were working okay. MMH. MMH. Uh, I don't know what that. I don't know for. that acronym. MMH. MMH. I need to be. I need to be uh, schooled on that. Uh, so I cut out a row instead. Things not working. Eventually, I found out that anything in the rightmost few columns were corrupted, but only if I read them from a particular variable. If I used variables from other columns, all okay. MMH. <laughs> MMH. What does that mean? MMH. I've never seen that acronym before. Maybe it's shaking my head. Me, m my something my head. Mm. Melding my head. Melting my head. I don't know. What is it? What is it, Andrew? <laughs> Melting my head. We're gonna go with that unless you correct me. MMH is rocket fuel, but that ain't what I'm. I <laughs> ain't this. I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah it's probably not rocket fuel. Makes me hurt. Maybe. Oh, maybe. that's a good one. Makes yeah. me hurt. Um, so I tried hard hardwiring the values in these variables and still corrupt. Mmm, okay. Oh, Just MMM. with fewer M's. Okay. Mmm. Um, this is very odd. So here I have a clue that it's a variable that's the problem. All right, so revert everything so there are no changes and simply declare a new variable. Thing, things changed. This means that the memory location, it's the memory location that's the problem, not the actual variable. Eventually I decided to remove some RAM usage and everything started working correctly. So I believe I have a situation where I'm using too much RAM and I just happen to luck on the variables with incorrect values also showing up visually on the screen as incorrect shapes. As I went through the last few months adding code and variables, my crash would move around to different places and give different effects, all because the variable RAM that was in the bad place was different. The bad place. Bad place, not the good I think we're place, in the, the bad, bad place. Yeah. I don't fully know exactly what's wrong, but I'm fairly certain I simply am using too much RAM. Or possibly there's a location the RAM being stomped. One of those, but the former being my best bet. There are a lot of complex systems that have to work perfectly. Sometimes the interaction between these systems, particularly when there's an obscure bug, can be very difficult to trace. I have my fingers crossed on this one for the show at least. Yeah, it hasn't crashed. That's a good thing. Yeah. One thing about game development is that bugs tend to be more interesting than other types of development. Oh, yeah. Well, it's also interesting when a bug creates an idea. 
You know yes. what I mean? Oh, Something happens, that's, you go, hey, that's, that's not supposed to happen, but I could use that. I always find that really interesting. Yeah, it's like, wow, what a great visual effect or something. And it's just a really good example of how sometimes you need to fail to succeed at things, right? You need to make mistakes to kind of figure out the best path, so. Yes. Yeah, Dev, like the star field in Cosmic Arc. Exactly, yeah. yes. So let's make sure that we have covered everything. <laughs> Andrew Davies says, time to move on, James. You seem to be getting frustrated and losing control focus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I'm trying hard ones. I'm just going to make sure uh, this is couch compliant. That's fine. I'm going to step up. You, you talk. You get, I'll be right back. Get the bag of, um, of letters. Is it upstairs? or? It's upstairs where it's supposed to be. Oh, okay, so... Uh, and we can watch the demo play properly. <laughs> uh, Real-time switching of view resolution via joystick button, yes. Animating icon preview status screen. Uh, huge overlay text, game over, we saw that. Board scrollable after death, we showed that. Auto detection console type, well we don't have a PAL or a CCAM system, so I won't be able to show that. Um, uh, the scrolling is awesome. You can see it right there. It's so smooth for playfield scrolling. Like this is four pixel scrolling. I mean, single pixel playfield, but four four pixels. Um, let's see. Rage quit. We showed that. We showed the circle swipe. We showed off the rain which is amazing. So I think we showed off everything. Absolutely astounding achievement, especially the rain. So let, let me just go back and show the rain off just once more on a simple level so I can dig out a little hole here, especially rain on a diamond. So let's make a diamond fall. And the rain falls anywhere, like any playfield pixel of like each, each um, character on the screen is five, four playfield pixels wide. And so the rain can fall on any of those four pixels. So it falls off the boulder. It'll fall down the left hand side of a diamond and not interfere. Oh, there's two of them. Yep, they both just fell off the boulder. Sorry about the bugs, I will do better. No, it's totally fine. We play games on the show all the time that have bugs. Um, and this is one of the most complex, ga complex games we have ever played on the show in terms of technology. So the fact that it hasn't crashed is astounding, that it's so complex um, and you're able to fix it in time. Um, so don't, don't even worry about that. Looks like the rain kind of gets absorbed into the boulder when it goes in between those two boulders. Oh, I kind of missed it. I want to see that again. Let me load that up and get two boulders together. Let's see if I can get those, clear out those two boulders. I want to see the rain fall in between them because it kind of sits. Oh, oh, no, fell to the left there. No, oh, there's one. And then it kind of get, gets absorbed as it sits in the boulder. That is amazing. Oh, tech of cards. Love it. That's That changes it up a bit. It does. It's not too many to choose from, too. Yeah. This is your vintage set. I'm gonna take out the Joker, I think. Oh, Air Canada? Yeah, Canadian Airlines. Oh, it's worth something. It is worth something, <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna... Okay, we're gonna give away, uh, thank you, Andrew. We're gonna play Andrew's next game, uh, Minesweeper, uh, in a second. But first, we're gonna give away one of the coasters to a lucky recipient. Uh, Tanya is shuffling them. I will shuffle the coasters. No, and... not shuffling the coasters. <laughs> James has this deck of cards that is um, a defunct Canadian airline called Canadian. I don't know <laughs> when it last ran, ran, probably in the 90s. Maybe. Because I think it was absorbed by Air Canada. Um, so these probably have some worth. Not in that condition. 
<laughs> a Canadian Airlines is their motto. We're really sorry that flying sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have see. shuffled them. My shuffling skills are not great. I haven't played a lot of cards lately. So. Oh, it's not that long ago. 2001, January 1st. 2001, whoa. 24 years ago. Yeah, 2023, but 23. yeah. Yep. That's still a long time. <laughs> it's a fairly long time. That, that's older. The, the, this deck of cards is older than uh, a fair number of people's kids. So I'm just going to point that out. Um, okay, so I have shuffled it. I'm going to get James okay. just to cut the deck and then show me the card or you can look at the card. Yep. And then uh, mm -hmm. we'll let you guess. So. And then the winner can pick which one they want. Yeah. And we'll go um, through them. Diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades. We'll so just, you can use D, S, H. Oh, no. We'll just get No. The, you pick the number. So it's Jack, Queen, King. Right? 1 through 10. Jack, Queen, King. Yes. Diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades. So gonna, D, C, H, S. So each person gets a guess of what you think the card is. So they have 52 to choose from? Yeah. Okay. And it's unlimited guesses? No, one guess each. And then if in, in if we it slows down, that. then we'll let another round go forward. We'll know it. We won't be able to keep track of that. Uh, a. Ace. A. Use an A. a. Yeah. A, Jack, Diamonds, Queen, King. Diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades. Oh, Jack, Queen, King. Yeah, I think we're good. I would use an A. Yep, A. What could have happened in 2001? They, they shut down before that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they did, actually. Um, okay. Does that sound good? Terms? Well, Everyone agrees to the terms. <laughs> when I type go in the chat, that's when you guess. Yep, and just throw your guess out. Again, a number and D, <laughs> C, S, H. D, C, S, H. I'm thinking of enough. One to ten. Or sorry, not one to Ace ten. To, Ace to king. Two to ten. King, queen. Making it so complex. I think 52 Jack. is hard. But, no jokers. But 13 is too little, so. You it's sung my battleship. <laughs> D, nine. Okay, so are you ready? Fan them out. I'll pick a card. Okay. You pick it. You look at it. And then put it back in the deck, and you have to guess it, right? No, this is no, 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 magic no. trick. <laughs> okay. Show me what it is, too. Oh, uh, no, not that one. <laughs> Joker. He found the one other Joker that I didn't realize was in there. Okay, let's try I'm that good. one more time. See if I can find the instructions. Is there another Joker? Because that nope, would be funny. The instructions. I've got the instructions. Oh, okay. 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 I've got it. And we're going to put it down here, right there. And we'll, we'll reveal it after. Yep. And so, are you ready? Are you ready to guess? Uh, and go! Not yet. Yeah, it was. No. Yeah. No. Oh, no, it wasn't. No. Okay. Someone's close, though. <laughs> yeah, we've got we've got some some right on both. Obviously, on the suit, that's easy. So everybody's everyone who can guess has guessed. Oh, Carl G. Tr you went twice, Carl. <laughs> Carl. Carl. First warning. <laughs> We're only taking your first one. Are people people are guessing? Zero, no, no, bad. Everyone's guessed twice. That's okay. okay. Second second guess in. Okay. No, nobody. Okay, we're gonna go go two now. Well, this is the second guess. If you've bad already car. put your second guess in, don't guess again. Okay. And then we'll tell you. Okay, we're waiting. Where it's at. Psst, psst, get bad guess. <laughs> That's right. You piss piss in them. Okay. Okay, I think everybody's guessed their first round. We're gonna yeah. go for a second round. Yeah, also. but are we taking this the the double guesses or the double guess is the second round for the people? No, no, no. It Don't starts double over. guess. We're starting again. Yeah. Reduced to number plus color. Number. Oh, that might be better. Yeah. Okay, I feel like we need to do this again because it's all messed <laughs> up now. It's all messed up now. <laughs> thought we just did. We did. I didn't say for a second guess to go. Yeah. Um, no, we're just going to continue on with the way we're doing it. I'm going to take another card. Okay. Because someone guessed it, but they guessed it before we said second guess. Oh, okay. So we're going to start over. 
Stop guessing twice. But I like Vitoko. We're going to do that to number and color. So let's yes. do that instead. That's down to 26. I think that's a better, it's a better option. I will put the card back in. We will? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Roulette rules. Red or black? Odd yep. or even? No, oh, that's, that's too easy. That's like four uh, options. <laughs> so again, like... ace to 10, jack, queen, king, red yeah. or black. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. You can do R, B. <laughs> do a Magic the Gathering cards. Yep. Okay. I'm bringing out my uh, tarot cards later. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If this doesn't work. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? We're going to try this one more time. <laughs> it's a different card. Yeah. Did or you see it? Different pull. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Red or black. Ace to king. Red. Oh my God. Nostalgic. Okay. <laughs> ready and go. go. Let me see it again. Okay. Remember, one guess only. One guess only. Then we'll do another round if nobody gets it. Nobody's got it yet. Keep on guessing. Are we done? Okay, we're going to start round two. When James types round two, go again. Remember, watch the chat. The chat is Not what matters. Not the video. Not the video. Yeah. Watch the chat. We're going to do round two and go for round two. <laughs> nice polygox. Okay, Dave M-A-Z got it. Yeah, it's a two of hearts. It's a two red. Two red. Thank you, Dave. Um, And I don't think you've won before. Nope, you nope. have not won. Yay, so, so you get your choice. You get to... Thank you for <laughs> Chile. Chile. So we're going to go to the webcam and you get to pick, you get to show them. Okay. So Dave, M-A-Z. I don't know. How about I hold them up for two seconds. Then you describe, Dave, oh goodness, which one you want. Tough. Um, you just go one, two, okay. three, four. I'll number them. Yeah, you're, that's a smart way of doing it. So we're going to start. This is number one. Sparkly zero page, some gold stars. Triangles. Yep. Oh, that's not staying there. Two. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Dave Abe Zed. These are all holographic. Three. ZPH with the daisies. Daisy glitter under it. A little hard to see the ZPH, but it's still pretty cool. I'll write your name down. Yeah, four gold stars at pH. Five black with gold. Oh, that pH? Six black with gold again, but with a slightly different holographic uh, look. Seven bubble coaster. Why aren't you stacking them properly? Why are there two stacks? I don't know. How do you know which one's one or three or five well, we've now? we've got a video. Oh <laughs> my God. I have to review the video? <laughs> They're stacked. And figure out which black is number four? Oh, please. Okay, now four. Four. Okay. Maybe it's your fault. You have to figure out which is four. Gold stars at <laughs> Is that correct? Is that the right one, Dave? I believe that's the right one. I don't know why Tanya did that. No question. <laughs> Stacking stills. Don't shuffle the coasters. I think that I think was that it. that was it. Okay, good. Oh, my goodness. It is. Well, we can review the footage before oh, you Oh, I need the it. one that she picked. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> why number them if you're just going to randomly Because stack it's them? on video. No, that means I have to review it's... the video. It's making <laughs> it's... me work. That's the whole point of videoing. It's making me work? Yeah. Okay. Play the footage back. It's time to play the second game. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. It's easier than you're making it. Yeah, exactly. It's harder than... Dave says any of them would be good. Any I think the sparkly one. I like that one, too. Okay. Here we go. We're here. Party We're here. It's party time Woo! for kittens. Cats, Come here, kittens. Cats, 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 kittens. Come on. Catnip. What is it under today's date? Is I don't even know what today's date is. There we go. There's only one date. 
I keep it simple for you. Thank you. So this is mine sweeper. <laughs> Kitty uppers. Ooh, Thank you. look at that. Too nostalgic. What a great uh Yes, opener. great title screen. Very nice. Very okay. nice. So you are able to pick what size of field. Minesweeper wrote in a few days, perhaps a few weeks, to complete version. Mm. The existing Minesweeper game set a small board sizes, and I thought I'd just have a go, making a scrollable one. Mm. So this was, um, so you can start, pick a small field. Yep. So pressing the button um, reveals, mm. holding down the button flags a mine. Holding down? Holding down the button okay. flags a mine. Because there's only one button. Welcome to the Atari 26. So Minesweeper, he started uh, working on August 19th, 2019. Uh, and he, uh, Andrew said, I was thinking that the tile engine would be pretty good for implementing Minesweeper. The scrolling board would give a pretty huge playing area, and I think graphics would mostly look okay. As far as I know, number 0123 tile, exposed square, bomb, question mark, that's about it. I might get a mock-up done in a day or two. Then uh, September 21st, 2019, while just taking a short break from Sokobu, I did sort of a mock-up, that is, change the Sokobu character shapes and Minesweeper character shapes, just to see how things might look. Here are a couple screen grabs. Then December 19th, 2023. Is it couch compliant, Andrew? Hold down the button. Aha. Thank Using you. the Wenhop draw systems to draw Minesweeper mock-up, wanted to see if they were any good. I could, I think, complete Minesweeper implementation in a few days at most. This effort took about half an hour and looks quite okay to my eyes. I included both ICC and non-ICC images. I, sorry, that was stupid. Both which seem to be uh, pretty <laughs> recognizable. Uh, 21st of December. I've added flagging. Hold down the joystick button to flag a square. Shows a sort of target circle inside a tile for flag tiles. This indicates you think there is a mine in the flagged location. There may or may not be one there. Uh, you can unflag by clicking on a flag tile. Bad luck. Terrible luck. I think if you find a one, it's best to click around the one. Rather than random. That's true. Ugh. No. I don't like that at all. No. I always just play until I find an open area. There we go. That's there. Now for. you can play. So that's a tough. Uh, Polygox asks, "Are those ZPH coasters for sale on Atari Age?" No, you must win them. <laughs> they are free with ex with with rules. <laughs> just like just like uh, um, Boulder Dash Two. They're free, but you have to follow the rules and pick the right card. <laughs> it's just not it's not worth selling them um we'd rather give them away and have some fun with the coasters uh, no you know you know that one's a bomb oftentimes you'll get to the point of needing to make a guess with 33 percent or 50 absolutely do yeah i played a lot of minesweeper did you like that did you like the catnip are you all blissed out Mm -hmm. Yep, he's laying on the floor going, Ugh. Yay! I do remember how to play this game. Oh, you did it! Now you can move up to the bigger one. <laughs> or you can move up to the biggest one. Just like the other game, you can scroll around. Oh, the fields look... Oh, I didn't notice there yep. was... Ah! Oh, I like the big ones. Oh, small. Nine by nine. Let's do some Uh... If you cl click on a mine accidentally, game over. All of the mines are then revealed and they flash on and off. No user interaction is possible after that. You will see a red background if you try. Um, menu now allows, uh, so December 21st, menu now allows for a section of selection of grid size, five by five, seven by seven, nine by nine, 11 by 11, 19 by 19, 38 by 20. Long press will mark a tile with a flag. Press on a flag will remove it. Very long press after death will return to the title screen equals couch compliant. So we can mark this one couch compliant. Oh, also, there's going to be a show after the show today. Because today is 
the 40th anniversary of the Atari 7800. And we are celebrating that by playing through every single retail copy wow. of 7800 games. Mm. We'll be doing 20 today. Um, it is not the full retail anniversary, it is the test market in California and New York anniversary. May 21st, 1984. And then they removed them from the market because there was something called the North America console crash. Um, but we're going to celebrate the first time people had 7800 games in their hand, they could buy them in the store. Uh, so, uh, December 22nd, fully playable now, sound effects added. When you win or lose, your cursor disappears, although you can still scroll around. Uh, moving around is much quicker now. There's a holdover on when hop code, which slowed you down when moving through dirt. Uh, after a win loss, hold down the joystick button to get back to the screen. And you can turn off the ICC, just like in the other game, um, by toggling the left difficulty switch. So we'll be playing the first 20 games released for the 7800. It should be fun. I think we're going to assign seven minutes per game, hmm. which should give us enough time to to explore the games. A lot of them uh, were arcade ports. I'm going to play a game of this after you. I'm going to play the big board. Happy birthday, 7800! Yes. Uh, so you have to open or mark every cell to finish the game. Yes. So if you have marked everything and opened everything and it's not finished, that means you marked one that should be open. But I think that's pretty unlikely to do because it would look really weird. Would there be an option to toggle the music? I didn't read about an option to toggle the music. Oh, playing with fire here. Don't. Oh my god, you're clicking around a three? No, there's a one. That oh, okay. one is the one, so oh, therefore okay. everything around the one is fun. It's it's taking me a second to remember how to play this game yes. properly. Yeah. Um, because it's been a while. It's like the logic starts to sink back in, so. Andrew says, no, I have no plans to do any more work on this. You it's turn great. the knob off on your TV to turn off the sound. <laughs> that is an option. There. That is the best option there. Don't like the sound? Off. Volume down. Uh oh, you ran out of uh, logical options? Ooh, one, two. That has two. And that could be only there or there. There's a lot in this grid. It could be Ooh. here or here. Here. It could be. Yeah. That's a 50% chance. It's probably a better chance just clicking out in the open. I know that's what I usually end up doing. Uh, it's a one. That's a 50% chance. Well, I mean, no, 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 here. no, there is one. One up above. I'll this tell one? you why. That three, there's already one there, one there. That means it has to be that one or that one, yeah. left or right. That one means it has to be that one or that one. That so means that it be can't blank. be that one. Okay. I don't know if that helps. But, yeah. Well, well, well <laughs> that's a little bit. So that's three. That could, that could be anything. I, I, should I guess at it? Oh, oh what are you doing? One, two... Oh, yeah. that was very lucky. So that one is open. One, two, three, four. Yes, very lucky. Ooh, five. Oh, they're all. One, all two, three. Three. Oh, okay. Four, five, seven. There, there. Uh, three. No. One, that two. Four might help. Mm. It's very dense. When you mentioned the adapter, you use a mouse with the 26, and I was thinking somebody needed to make a port of Minesweeper mm. to make use of it. Oh, yes. That would be good. 
I mean, um... I wonder how accurate of a mouse you could make. I mean, you, I mean, you could just use One, a rollerball at to that point. One, two, how accurate of a mouse you could make with two paddles. One, two, three. The two paddles, incorporating the two paddles as the X and Y. But they would be absolute um, positioning yeah. based on the paddles. Oh, you're doing well? Yeah, Found another some logic. Thing? It would be better to do a mouse using the logic from um, a drive, two driving controllers, because you can spin those faster or slower. And it has a resolution of 16, is it? Which might be enough to uh, work as a mouse. You won't be able to go too fast, but you'll be able to go um, a certain speed. So if you could translate a mouse into something, yeah, you could you could make you'd have to probably make your own mouse translator. But Minesweeper would be a really good uh, use of it. I bet there's a lot of games that you could alter to uh, make use of a mouse. Any any game that has movement of uh, crosshairs on the screen would be work uh, would work for a mouse like Missile Command. You could do a two-dimensional uh, kaboom, which is almost a missile command. Okay. The three diagonal. Oh, oh no. I missed that. We're going for the big one. I like the big ones. Those are the most. Yeah. There we go. Why one, don't they put mine, mine uh, one. sweeper on computers anymore? <laughs> Did they get rid of it? Well, I don't. I don't think it's in there to play. It's a shame. That one's not one, that one's not one. Uh, that's a two, that means that one is one. It means that one's not one. That one's not one. That one's not one. That one's not one. Uh, that one is one, because there's a three there. Mm -hmm. One, two, three uh, that for that one. That one's not one. One, two, so the, those are fun. Yeah. Yeah! The, one, the thing with the big, if you don't have You've a lot areas. of mines, yeah. it's pretty good. Um, Andrew, was the number, the uh, the resolution of the mines limited by RAM? Is that why they're, um, the board is only so big? Or you just thought that, no, that's big enough? <laughs> Chalcedoni Mal says they couldn't get enough monetization and data collection off mines. <laughs> that's right. To justify keeping it. <laughs> it's very true. If you can't monetize it and you can't get data... Oh, have, have you heard that upcoming Microsoft uh, Windows is going to be watching absolutely everything you do? Because of the AI systems, right? So it can suggest AI suggestions, like everything you do, everything you web page you go to, everything you type, so it can collect data to help you with AI. I suspect. I said to Tanya when I saw that in the TV, it's like, that's the day I 100% moved to Linux. Yeah. I was going to say, what will happen is, you either get a pared down, cheaper user version, and you pay for a business version that won't do that. Because there's That's what's going to happen. It has to, because yeah, there's sensitive Yeah, business has sensitive information on it, no so you'll have to pay extra that. for the version that doesn't track that's everything right. you do that's all right. day, extra. all day long. <laughs> it will be, 100% yeah. it will be. Yep. I can do that one. As if it didn't do that now, and uh, your yeah. phones aren't listening to you either, I know. Oh, the, yeah, of course. I tell all the air systems to F off, so <laughs> That's the best plan. And I actually. redacted some of that statement. So. I know. I, uh, I disabled it on Facebook. I know. It's... And they're bringing Clippy back. It looks like you're trying to steal this user's private <laughs> data. Can I help? Can I help steal it? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I want Clippy. Oh my god, that's what Microsoft needs, is a Clippy AI. 
Oh, that'd be so. They 100% need to clip AI. Somebody's going to make Clippy AI. No, Microsoft needs to do it. Just bring back. Clippy if they had any up. sense whatsoever, they'd have a Clippy AI. It would be fantastic. Uh, one, two. And then we'd all willingly give all our data. Because Clippy's Microsoft. so cute. I love Clippy. <laughs> useless, useless Clippy. <laughs> yeah, Clippy never knew what I was trying to do. <laughs> it's like Clippy, no, bad Clippy. <laughs> It's just Clippy 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that one's open. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That 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 Switch from Clippy to the folded paper cat because cat. Um, <laughs> because cat. Because cat. That's all you need to that's, know. Yeah, because cat. Uh, maybe Clippy AI could be voiced by Ryan Reynolds oh, instead of yes. uh, uh, Scarlett jo Johansson. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, I have an Easter egg in Space Game that changes the first alien to Clippy's. What? <laughs> Carl G! Oh my it god. It is I satisfying to kill them. Well, we're gonna have to look for that on a stream. <laughs> that is fantastic. One, one, one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Yeah, sorry. You're correct. You're correct. That that one. Three there. Yep. That one. That one. That's a good end. Minecraft. <laughs> I knew. Mine sweeping yeah, is way sweeping. more satisfying than that one. That one, like what? Than what doing one? it yourself. What one? <laughs> it's yes. Open it up. <laughs> Two has to be that. One, two, three has to be that one. Yeah. Can't be that one. Can't be that one it has to be that one. That one. music does make it feel like you're under a time limit. It's a little bit like the Jeopardy theme song. Yes, yeah. It's coming for you. It is. Do it fast. Oh, let's talk about our vacation. Oh, yeah. Other things? Other things we've done? Yeah, what did we do? What did we do? So many things. Um, We hung out on the beach and we biked around on Long Beach. We The whole length of it. The whole length of it. That was fun. It was hot. It was It was like midweek and really quiet which was lovely yes um we tried to go to a comedy show they canceled two hours before it was sarah silverman and we did not get the email so we paid a ridiculous amount of money fifty dollars to get there Uber and back to get there and back and it was canceled so <gasps> not too happy about that oh that sarah was wrong uh, uh oh well. that sort of music will encourage you to hurry and make this <laughs> and therefore there we go um, we Wrong. did go see, uh, because it was the Netflix is a joke festival while we were it's there. Like a week and so, half long. um, the, it, we did see Taylor Tomlinson, yeah. uh, do stand up with a bunch of other comedians, um, on one of the days. Five comedians, uh, four out of five were Ooh. excellent. And one of them was okay. <laughs> one was okay, the rest were excellent. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, come back and and see if people can guess. They will. It's pretty uh, obvious. What other location we went to? What yeah. could it be? Where did we go? Yeah, we went um, 
to uh, Super Nintendo World at World. Universal Studios, and which also, was very very cool. It was it was really well decorated. It, amazing, yeah. Set deck on that is like absolutely astounding. Yeah. Um, we also went to Harry Potter. Her, yeah, uh, Hogsmeade. Uh, so they had a, a part that was all set up like Harry Harry Potter. Thank you. I and like was, my booze. It was really well, really well done. It was we went beautifully on, done, yeah. Two rides. A couple of rides. We didn't have a ton of time there, so we kind of no. ran around really quickly. One ride on the Harry Potter thing was astounding. Amazing. It broke halfway between. It, halfway through, it, it broke down. It broke in the middle of it, which actually made it creepier. <laughs> Because it stopped right in the middle of where they were like ghosts were they? and and I'm um, sure they're from a movie death wraiths or whatever it was. So uh, it stopped there. Yeah. And there was no sound. The sound was off. So all these we were in the dark and these wraiths were coming out of the walls in the dark. <laughs> it was actually with no good. sound. It was yeah. super creepy. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to Simpsons World, is which whatever. was pretty cool. Springfield. Yeah. Um, we went on a ride there, but it wasn't as good because it didn't really move. It was just video. It was sort of static, and there was video, and it moved around. It, moved it was still very, very well done. Yeah. Um, but we didn't have a ton of time there. Um, no. And we didn't do the the wristband. You can get a wristband and pretend to hit blocks and get points. And yeah. uh, we didn't really have enough time to do all of that. No. But yeah, we had a good time. I'd go back. I, I, yeah, I'd there's lots it. of things to do there. We went to Universal Studios to do the studio tour like 10 years ago, and I was very underwhelmed by it. Yeah. And we said we wouldn't go back, but when we found out they had all these new areas, we yeah. went back and actually, yeah, I highly recommend it. I think it's got a lot for adults with nostalgia for those franchises and kids as well. So. Oh, kids will love it. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. If they like any Nintendo things at all, they would just, their minds will be blown. Yeah. And I laugh because you know nothing about Harry Potter and he, he, you, we were walking around and you're like, oh, is that a thing? Is that a thing? And I'm like, oh, I forgot. You have no idea about these movies. <laughs> People got robes oh, that were embroidered, and they you can buy wands. Super nerds and, are there. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> All the super yeah. nerds for Anyway, Potter we had a good time. We had a yep. good time. Yep. The booze are on for the rest of the show. So. Uh, oh, we went to the arcade as well. That there, that the franchised arcade. The barcade. That's mostly on the East Coast, the barcade. Yeah, really like that. I, we have a bunch of photos yes. from there. Yeah. Oh, we'll show you next episode. Yeah. Uh, they I don't have a great have selection up. of games of, of real. And I did very well in Galaga. Yes, you did. One you of got my better the high games. score. Well, if... of of the week or day or whatever. Yeah. But I yeah. think they turn it off every day. They probably do. But yeah, yeah. Um, a decent a decent score for me. For everyone it else, it was a good, not score. A good score. Well, no, it was a good score. Yeah. I thought it was a good score. Way better than me. Um, that kind of sums up the highlights. And of course, the festival that we talked about. Yeah, at the, top. the festival was yeah. great. So yeah. Um, so let's, we're going to do After Dark, but so hang on. Um, but, uh, coming up on the show, uh, we are going to do an Atari 8-bit day, probably next episode with, uh, Mikey Missile Command Arcade and Shift. Uh, we have two more after this After Dark that's coming up of the 40th Anniversary Classic Game and Countdown for the Atari 7800, Day 2 and 3. Stop it. Um, we're going to be playing Super Pro Racers. Get out of there. On the 7800. It's chewing cords. Uh, we're going to be playing Fury on the Lynx, and I'll be filling these in as time goes on as well. Um, so it should be a lot of fun coming up. Um, that's probably going to be pushed to uh, the Secret Homebrew from Champ Games. Um, it's probably going to be in June now because May is almost over mm -hmm. and he has posted it's not quite ready. It's almost ready. Um, and uh, we're going to have a developer spotlight on Steve Englehart. Um, I've checked in with him. He is mm -hmm. pretty much ready to go. He's got a new game. It's a secret world premiere from him. I've been playing around with it and testing it out, giving suggestions for that. It's nice. fun. Yeah. Something you probably would never expect. Oh, cool. For the 7800. Nice. Yeah. You'd never, you'd never guess it. But uh, I'll say this. You will never guess what it is, but everybody knows this game. Okay. Which is kind of a funny dichotomy <laughs> of like, it's so well known, but you'll never think to port it to the 7800. It's super weird. Um, and of course, later on in the year, we'll have a, a developer spotlight with Lawrence Stavely. Uh, Jumping at Shadows, uh, hopefully is the game will pair with that. That would be a lot of fun. 
And uh, later in the year as well, Chris Walton, hopefully with Zevius as well. So tons of things coming up. Uh, lots of fun things. Right, Atari? It's licking cardboard over there. Yep. Well, Mist was already done. Dragon's Lair. <laughs> yes. Um, that is... Somebody needs to do that on the uh, movie cart. Oh, yeah. It has been proven to be possible. On the movie cart? Yes. Really? Um, Andrew Davey, I think, encoded Dragon's Lair. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the movie, it looks good. Now the logic would have to be implemented. It's probably out there in some format that's probably easily convertible. Mm. And you would just have to make it trigger up, down, left, right button. Yes, he says. He there confirms. You go. Andrew, Andrew Davey, Davey confirms. confirms. Yeah. So you just have to program in the logic uh, to jump to different scenes by pressing up, down, left, right at a certain time. And if you press it the wrong direction, it shows a death. And there's a, there will be a little bit of logic to program. Uh, is already an 8-bit CPU. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Issue is a licensing cost. Yeah. And that one, you can't really get around the problem mm. <laughs> because you're literally using the video. The exact video. Like, yeah. You can't change the character. They wanted a lot for the rights. Oh, of course. Ooh, yeah. 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 That sucks. Yeah. Maybe there's some way you could, like the logic couldn't be copyrighted. Maybe. Mm. I doubt it. I don't know. Andrew probably know. Four figure. You'd never make that money back. No. No. You'd be you'd be a charity at that point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh that. yeah, that'd be oof. No. No. At five even like ten dollars profit. Let's say twenty dollars profit and a low four figure. <laughs> uh you'd be selling fifty copies. <sighs> Nobody's gonna buy it at a twenty dollar profit. Yeah, that'd be tough. Night yeah. trap. <laughs> night trap. Man, it might be cheaper for night trap. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. I think that was a bit more involved than just up, down, left, right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I abandoned the idea of working on it. Although some people are still trying to get some traction with the IP owner. Good luck with them. Because it's it's literally a binary thing. It's yeah. it's just too much. Like it either going to exist or it's not going to exist. Yeah. And if the IP owner doesn't think it's cool, which it's super cool yeah. on the 2600 and they give a bit saying that it's like, oh, this will give some yeah. some hype. It would give so much hype. Like Dragon's I... Lair on the 2600 would be everywhere in the yeah. news. Yeah. And maybe they can coincide it with some other Dragon's Lair release. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, Cyrano, I'll talk to you after the show about JS testing. Awesome, Cyrano. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Five figure. Oh, no, no, Oh, no. never mind. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah. No wonder you banned it in immediately. Yeah. Five figure. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Well. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, the CPU is not the problem. You don't need a strong CPU with Dragon Slayer. Yeah. It's just triggering a laser disc yeah. to go track five, track ten. Yeah. Like, you need no power. Yeah, so... Is that what it was, a laser disc originally? Yeah, it laser just played disc? a cartoon off a laser disc and oh, jumped to different tracks. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So the logic and the timing was nothing. Like, yeah. it, it was so simple. Yeah, But it was I mean, all you, memorization. I mean, I mean you'd that have to the... have overlays, I guess, for high scores or something. I, I didn't mm. really play it because I just died immediately. Yeah. It, As for Bubble Bobble for the Jaguar, that was six figure. Oh, not low six figure. Wow, but people are wow. still licensing Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble is pretty popular for like still. modern modern systems. Yeah, but yeah. Well, that's the problem. Is it is it popular? They're gonna want a lot of money. Yeah, Watch true. that cat. Why are he's not chewing it? But he is. He's looking at. Would it be cheaper it? to commission fifteen minutes of original animation? Ugh. Everybody could chip in and do like. Uh, five seconds of animation, like hand drawn, <laughs> and make our own. We'll make our own dragon's lair with blackjack and hookers. Forget it. We'll just have blackjack. Uh, here we go. Your super fancy cards. You guys are finally streaming again. Yay! You came on while I was off getting birthday tacos. Birthday tacos. Happy birthday! If it, if there if it is in fact oh, your birthday. Oh, there you go. Recreate dragon's lair. Oh my god. Using AI. Ugh. No, it'd be terrible. Uh, okay, we're done uh, for now. Uh, we're going to be back in about um, half an hour, 20 minutes, something okay. like that. Watch the countdown. 
Uh, and we're going to be celebrating the Atari 7800's 40th birthday today since they announced it in 1984 for a limited release yes. in New York and California. You keep mentioning that. Because like... I have to. Because <laughs> people go, it was released in 86. <laughs> yes, wor worldwide release in 86, but it was released to people's hands in 1984. There you go. People played it and bought it in a store in 1984. Dirk Winamni probably hands holding a sword with nine fingers or 23 fingers. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So uh, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Gamma Dev, Sierra Reboot, Nostalgic 26, Charles Steinma, Gamma Dev, Chitlala, Andrew Davy. Thank you so much for letting us show off your awesome technology. Um, looking forward to see what people think about it when uh, it gets released very soon. Definitely sign up for your free copy. Yep, now. before the 100 copies are gone and they will go. They will go. They uh, will go. Uh, Double Down, Nostalgic, uh, B.R. Pocock, uh, Crunchy the Clown, uh, Vitoko, 8-Bit Poet, Charles Whelan, Carl G, Smitty B, Polygox, Dave MZ, AZ, uh, congratulations, AZ, because you're from Arizona, I'm guessing. Very nice. <laughs> And not a Canadian. Expo Atari Chile. Uh, Miss Command. Prow 7. So many people. Arms Coder. I know. Coder. Thank you for joining us We all us came back. out for yeah. our first show back after our holidays. It has been a while. It has been it a has while. It has been a while. Like 20 Look days at all these or people. something. It's awesome. Rendered Ghost. 8-Bit uh, Poet. And anybody else that I missed yes. or is lurking. And we are going to play more games. Yes. More 7800 games. 20 more games. 20 games. Quick succession, I'm assuming. Yep. Or Seven we'll be minutes. here all, all night. Uh, so if you want to stick around, stick around and... Uh, yes, just and, st uh, stay on the stay stream. Let the, let the counter uh, count down and we'll be back very shortly. Yes, it is you, Magnard Ghost. Yay! Um, so uh, we will see you in a few minutes. That's right. Stick around. Bye-bye. But stick around. Bye-bye. <laughs>